Uh, welcome, 26th viewer, to Rolling D. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where a bunch of friends play D&D, and hopefully you can enjoy your time with us as well. Uh, today we have a special treat for you. We're actually going to tell you about our characters. We're going to let you guys know a little bit about our players and what they're bringing to the table. Uh, let's start on the left side here. Uh, my character's name is Brunor. He is a dwarf. Um, circle of Stars druid, so he has a, a meteorite tablet that he uses to cast spells and uh, listens to the, what the cosmos is telling him to make the, the greater good happen. And, yeah. Lovely, just we'll be we waiting for the next says. five sessions until we're finally set up. It's not hanging yeah. from the ceiling. <laughs> you might get to do some rolls with the yeah. guys. I think I'll scoot over. Yeah, so Cass, what is your role? Are you just hanging out with us? I am the moral support and entertainment for tonight. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So my character is Ludicius Fingertop the Thought. Okay? He's a human who's a humorous narcissist. His main ideals is money. Right? He loves his money. And he's bonded to his comrades as he will never let them die. He has one fatal flaw. Cake. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, we didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it was inspiration. <laughs> I like cake. <laughs> it's cake. It doesn't like cake. Oh, right on the right side. Okay. My character is Jean Hemingwaist, a humble little mouse folk who lives on the silence rib cage. Um, I have a little vest, like a cargo vest, with all my stuff, and I don't wear pants, just the vest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm armed with a shield and crossbow and occasional short sword or axe. Awesome, and what's your class and level? Oh. I'm a fighter, neutral alignment with I'm level five. My character is Getsmani Tea Leaf. I am a halfling barbarian <laughs> that's pretty short, got some messy hair. I like to wear my bear pelt cloak to cover my lack of washed hair. Uh, I am aligned with Chaotic Good. And I'm easily distracted by shiny things. I care about my friends, and I will do anything for them, even if it means being eaten alive. Which seems to happen somewhat oh, regularly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, we got cameras rolling. I got a little bit of jitters. Let's shake it out. And you know what? Let's just play some D&D and have some fun, okay? Ooh. So, a little note inside your guys' uh, mailbox was delivered. You guys have all attended uh, the Coronation Festival at Poseidon's Ribcage, and it has been a very eventful week. Uh, the little humble mouse folk decided that uh, it's time for a new princess, and she was coronated as the leader of the mouse folk during this week, and you guys were there for the festivities and the challenges. Uh, you guys were there for the Lin Toll Festival, uh, as well as dealing with lizard folk security, as you guys noticed something was afoot. Nearly the second you guys set a foot on the island. Uh, Brunor did quite a bit of investigation and found that the island's fey was under attack. Uh, you guys have investigated many different uh, abnormal spots and sigils on the ground. You guys attacked mercilessly. You guys also drank quite a, a lot of booze. This all culminated with you guys taking down Captain Cervantes in an epic showdown which nearly burnt down the harbor in the port of the Mouse Folk. Uh, you guys spent uh, the rest of the night uh, celebrating as well as celebrating with the mouse folk for their new queen as things seem to be settling and feeling alright on Little Poseidon's rib cage. At the end of the night you guys stumbled home from your night, uh, for your day of fighting, exhausted, a uh, little bit drunk from the merrymaking of the f uh, feast, of coronation, all that fun stuff. Um, can Gene and Ludicius, please roll me a constitution saving throw. What D is that? 20. So I have it in my saving throw, so I add my proficiency here. Yep, same. Wow. Um. Okay. Uh, five. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Uh-oh. Ten. Uh, Mod ten. Amazing. Uh, tossing and turning, uh, 
in the little campsite that he set up next to uh, the established party as Ludysius was a late arrival, joining Jean, Brunor, and Gitsamani uh, in the middle of their adventures. Uh, however, you toss and turn of the night, you know, you really don't feel very good, and the conversation that you had earlier in the day kind of plays back in your head. You you're keep flashing back to the moment at the harbor where you were talking uh, and were pulled away separately after Captain Cervantes' main defeat and you were addressed one-on-one -on -one with the newly crowned queen, or Princess uh, Flint. You remember her reaching in you, holding your chest closely and saying, Thank you for your bravery, but not only in battle, but in your chivalrous actions the other night. Uh, I feel foolishly naive. Uh, she leans in and gives you a slight kiss on the cheek, very light. Uh, however, I do not believe it's foolish to put my trust of my people in you. I look forward to our future trade negotiations, long hours, alone in my chambers. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me address the folk uh, as she blushes and runs off, and you toss and turn, falling deep into slumber. Uh, Jean is getting flashes of red and storm as, she, in her dream, she looks up and sees the massive, uh, the, the chaos that ensued earlier in that day, very red and vibrant. Uh, she can feel the pulsing of the thunder poo, poo, and lightning, uh, feeling it in her chest. Uh, you have visions. Uh, you look back and you see King Flint's decrepit body just sucked out of life. Uh, you notice the pearl in your vision is kind of fading in and out. Uh, do you do anything? In my dream? Yes. Um, I go towards the pearl. As you get closer to the pearl, uh, you look. Uh, as you uh, notice it, you see that it has a crack forming across the side of it. Uh, and on that crack, uh, purple energy is leaking out as it seethes uh, through light and dark phases. Uh, it seems to be calling to you. In perfect squeak speak. Okay. Um, do I know that it's like the Fae? Uh, roll an arcana check. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are pretty drunk. And you think this rock is talking to you in the middle of your dreams. This dream is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, okay. it calls out to you one more time. Um, do I know where I am? No, you're running out of time. Mm, can I try to grab it? You reach out through the pearl, and as your fingertips touch it, you see a trunk of life. Just massive, you know, the same, like, colorful blue, uh, blue neon cyan color that your fae has been representing. You see this shooting through the veins of this tree uh, inside the pearl, and as you go and touch it, snap, you're awake. It's about three in the morning, you hear the crackle of your fire and your embers going side to side. You look side to side, uh, everyone's asleep. Yeah, I like gasp away. Yes. Yeah. Uh, roll, Around, nothing. Yeah. roll an inside check. Okay. With advantage. Okay. I got a 19. Let's go. We'll do that. Okay, with a 19. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you believe you need to speak to someone involved in the Island Fae immediately tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you go back to sleep. A couple hours pass. Uh, roll a d20. Who wakes up first? Five. Five. Sixteen. Nine. Uh, Ludysius pops up right away, bright and early. <clears throat> Everyone else is going to be waking up shortly, but does Ludysius do anything? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just woke up, you know, I'm chilling there. I'm still thinking about Lil Miles' folk in our conversation for the night before, so. Uh, in your pocket, as you wake up, you feel the 500 gold from your... A trade agreement that you managed to boister your way into yesterday. They were they offered an initial. Uh, I believe we should open up trade, uh, but we, you said I need a signing bonus. <laughs> so Five hundred gold pieces are also added to your inventory. Uh, and then everyone else awakes. Let's say it's about nine o'clock. Holy shit, bitch! Okay. 
immediately when I wake up, I'm like, guys, 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 I had such a weird dream. I've never dreamed about the Fae before, but I was dreaming about everything that happened on our island. And the king was dead, and the pearl was fading and cracked. But the, the king's alive. He's just healing up now. I don't know. Something felt off about this dream, guys. Do you think it was the moon talking to you? The moon can talk to you? Toads. She's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've never talked to the moon before. <laughs> Me neither. I'm interested. Can I, do, can I do a check to see, like, how many moons there are? Or what the solar... solar yeah, roll me a like. history check with advantage. <laughs> uh, my history. mods for history. Intelligence. So 13? Oh, with a 13, you know that this is actually like a double elliptical uh, star solar system here. So you actually have two stars and it passes through, your planet passes like this Whoa. via the gravity. So the amount of moons at the time with the 13, uh, you're not sure, but right now there's anywhere from like 6 to 13 out there. Okay. It changes depending on the orientation. Oh, wait. wait, 6 to 13 oh. moons? Yeah. That time must be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Are there a lot of stars? Like galaxies and stuff? I mean, yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, now I got a good idea of the solar system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so what would you guys like to do? It is the last day on the island. Um, she has a little bit of ambition, but I know that you guys are also uh, dying to get back to uh, the mainland. So there, the harbor is also very busy. Uh, there's also all the shops are open. You know, essentially whatever whatever you guys have done before or seen before, you could probably interact with it again. And I'm going to open it to you. I want to stock up on some snacks for the journey back. I'm mm -hmm. hungry. Cool. You should check day's rations. Let me see how many you guys have. I have four. Hmm? I for some reason haven't eaten any of my own rations. I've eaten other shit on the island. <laughs> I want. He's a drink a lot of wait, beer too. Do my rations go bad? Well, you're, every night you're supposed to negate one of your rations okay. from your inventory. Okay, I haven't We've eaten anything from my own bag. I've just been eaten, scrounging. Yeah. Just knock off two of your rations. Then. Okay. You have no rations. You are royalty. You do not expect to feed yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I got my crew on the boat. They'll cook for us. Mm -hmm. What? Ghost can. How do ghosts... You have to explain how ghosts work. I don't... Okay. <laughs> so, like, I mean, they're ghosts, but they, they can still touch things. Right. Ooh. You know that your father is a masterclass illusionist wizard. Ooh. So, these are not spirits of past people, per se, but more powerful illusions that are controlled by your family. Ooh, by the House of Kings. Yes. Okay, that's what I like to hear. And daddy's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> His daddy's money, I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I earned my ghost. Oh, oh my god, that was perfect. I lost my ghost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nothing happens. Uh, I feel like I should go to the castle, maybe talk to the king. Is the king at the castle? You would assume. I should probably talk to him. Because he was dead in my dream. Wanna, and they know the most about the pearls and stuff, because they have a pearl too. I'm gonna bring up to Jean, like, yo, this sword kind of reminds me of that dream you had, but like creepier. Like, hold this shit real quick. And I like dangle it in front of me. What uh, is it? As, it's oh, like a scimitar. Yeah, do you, uh, do you just grab it? Uh, yeah, can I like inspect it? Uh, yeah, do you want to inspect it or grab it? Uh, I'll grab it. Okay, awesome. Roll me a d20. <laughs> Five. Okay. Uh, you grab it, and as soon as it touches your hand, you feel some of your breath get pulled out as you feel really tired all of a sudden. You just kind of woke up, but you're just not feeling great anymore. Mm, okay. uh, but yeah, you inspect the sword. You think it's very sharp, very well handled, very well used as you look at the yeah. hilt. Um, you can tell that it's been repaired previously. Um, via Elven Magic. Ooh. Can I see those super cool race die? Over here. 
Thank you. Uh, you think that that is a normal sword with a plus two to damage as well. Just cause. That's all I got. Is that it's just kind of spooky? Yeah. Yeah, with five. Yeah, with five. That was bad. <laughs> is. Um, like, can I ask ready? you, where'd you get it? Oh, it was, okay. this was Captain Cervantes. Oh, okay. Gives me creepy vibes. Wonder if that's how they were harnessing, say, from the island or something. I don't know. Um, all I know is it's creepy. It gave me, like, kind of a flash. Mm -hmm. Kind of what you were talking about with your dreams. Yeah. Hmm. Should I bring this to the king? Yeah, we can go talk. Talk Let's to him about it. it. Hey, I want to be included it. on the weird vibes. Can I touch it? <laughs> I feel like you would just grab it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, immediately. Uh, roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, <laughs> Four. Four. You. Wait, I have preferred to see in Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you guys, by the way, have a level of exhaustion now. Oh, no. Oh, um, what was that? That's a great thing for Cast to look up. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? No, I think I have it right here. You have one level, so that means you have disadvantage on ability checks. Oh, yeah. No. For how long? Until you sleep. Damn. You're exhausted. You don't want to get to the second one. But I didn't find anything cool? No. <laughs> like it didn't do anything for me? It made you exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> this sword oh, is man. fucking lame. Oh, yeah, fuck that, I don't want to touch it. You... You're still holding it, just feeling very, like, limp dick. It's like, clatters to the ground. You guys see, like, a... Like, I just uh, put it to my waist again. <laughs> so now no one's touching it. It yeah, is attached to your waist. Kind of, I imagine the tip dangling in the sand, kind of like dulling yeah. throughout the whole time you're holding it. Uh, uh, as you guys, you want to go see the princess? <laughs> you coming with us? You know, the queen now. Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> yeah, let me see what's up with the queen. What was that? It didn't sound good. It sounded breaky. Mm -hmm. There's nothing here. Oh. Okay, nice fellow. Sounds like. Okay, so you guys uh, decide to pack up. Uh, Jean, while she's packing up, takes the tent, uh, wraps it up. This is a Poseidon's ribcage mouse book issued party tent. So, uh, yeah, so then uh, you can make the choice on keeping the tent with you, which holds four of you, or bringing it back respectfully to the dock where the equipment is held. I think we should take it with us. Uh, you guys pack everything up. Uh, as you pack it up, you also see, like, you know, the festival kind of clearing out a little bit. You guys see a couple larger beasts, uh, buffalo with four tails, kind of start whipping around as you could walk past, heading their way towards the deck, the harbor. Uh, you guys come, have collectively decided you're going to go talk to the royalty one last time. Uh, you guys walk up to the front gates, and this time, as you guys kind of were shunned off and blocked before, uh, you see the expression of the rat folk, or the mouse folk, uh, at the front gates, kind of get happy in there, like relax a little bit as they see, they say, welcome, hey heroes, what do you want? Gotta talk they to know the us queen. Now. Oh, we go talk to the queen now? Uh, he looks at the other one, the other one says, oh, we can probably squeeze you in. Thank you. Uh, and he gives you guys a good wink, uh, he opens the big castle, the, the front door for you guys. Uh, as the door opens, you guys see a statue, uh, of old King Flint. Well, right next to it, you guys see some marble, as you guys think maybe they're preparing another statue. Ooh. You guys walk through, and this is about brunch time, um, you guys are walking through the barracks when the two little mouse folk uh, servant ladies, one slightly older than the other, appear and say, ah, what would you, visitors, what, what do you need? What would you like? Uh, one, you know, the one that you guys were kind of sassy to earlier, visibly shaken, the, the other one, much more calm. Can we see counsel with she is drinking tea. Yes, heroes, you may. As she uh, very unwillingly or unwantingly takes you guys up the spiral staircase to the breakfast floor. Uh, 
at this breakfast floor. You guys see what you guys saw last time you were here, you know, the hustle and bustle of servants in and out. You see them carrying fresh orange juice and mango smoothies uh, to the table as as you see at the I'll table, too. Uh, Queen Flint now, uh, as well as Jacobian, look kind of burying their heads into some security details, as well as some of the larger, the acolytes from earlier, and uh, a couple of paladins. So, what did we come here to talk with the Queen and King about? Well, it's our last day, but I had the weird dream about the Fae. And I want to talk to them about it. Yeah. And probably, we have this weird sword too. Probably old King Flint would be the best. Yeah. Because he's like, he was the most the most knowledgeable. I'm just here for the protection. I don't know if I narrated that King Flint was at the thing at the table. We presumed he was. Um, in the ca- in he the is not at the table. Not. Okay. Maybe let's ask Queen Flint to come yeah. and talk to him if he's in healthy enough condition. Because he was kind of rough the other day. Uh, the one mouse folk, uh, servant next to you kind of says, okay, uh, and she goes, kind of weaves and dodges her way over to the queen, uh, kind of leans in, uh, and as you guys kind of noticed, from the previous day till now, her whole demeanor has changed. Princess Flint has truly become Queen Flint, like, with a switch, as you see her expression and worry about, uh, her society, and I should probably have you guys roll for this, but... It's fine. Uh, you guys kind of see that she's actually taking this very seriously, like how she almost died mm-hmm. uh, in retaliation. However, she goes up, whispers, and then locks eye contact with uh, Ruinor. Uh, she says, yes, 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 welcome, welcome, yes, anything for you. Uh, she stands up and she comes and she actually comes and music you guys like little kisses on the sides. Uh, she's, Oh, uh, what? Would you like a spot of tea? Please. Yes, please. Yes. I would love some tea. Tea, she mo- she, with just a little head flick, tea appears at all of your sides. Odysseus is not at all impressed. He's like, oh, I should make quicker. <laughs> Hold it. Yeah. Improperly fancy. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> You're just completely... 15. A 15. Um, she kind of looks at you, but goes, oh. I mean, she's new. <laughs> uh, she, she ignores you. She kind of knows you're primitive. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's like, so uh, what brings you to my castle? Would you just like to say your goodbyes? Uh, yes, we wanted to visit you one last time, but also mm-hmm. uh, we wanted to talk to you about the fae of the island before we go. Ah, uh, yes, a very sensitive subject. I've never seen a force field projected so fully and powerfully around such a large space. Our entire harbor was encapsulated. Where does one harness that sort of energy? How is the island recovering from the infiltration of Captain Cervantes? Uh, My acolytes and I have not gotten a good read. Uh, However, the damage has been done and healing will need to proceed. She reads a concern on your face, and she says, is something bothering you? Yes, I had a very concerning dream, as if the the island was calling out to me about the fae, and the fate of the island. Interesting. Interesting. And you found it dire enough to seek us out, seek me out. I did. It was very concerning, and we're leaving soon. I wanted to bring it to your attention. How are your pearls? Well, there, one is in my chamber, the other has, is resting astutely on top of Dugo Flint's statue. I have a very vivid vision of one cracking and turning purple. Mm. This is very peculiar. I, it was in perfect condition nearly when you handed it to me last. We must investigate. Uh, she motions for, she says, uh, and Squeak Squeak, and you hear that say, uh, hey, I need some assistance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, her two main acolytes come uh, follow you guys with their little tails kind of whipping side to side. As you guys kind of go to her main chambers, uh, Ludus, mm-hmm. you weren't, this is kind of all unfamiliar to you. I don't yeah. think you were there earlier. Uh, but you enter her chambers, and it, it's kind of like a library on one side or whatever, but you see it like only the main podium in the middle uh, is the main fixture of this room. You see the pearl. 
exactly as Jean had envisioned with mm -hmm. a new crack formed uh, as you guys approach. Uh, it's her pearl that's scratched? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, pearl on her... Inner chambers. Yeah, on her inner chambers, which was perched. Uh, uh, you see doubt and confusion and anger spread across her face in rapid succession as she mm -hmm. bolts towards her pearl and coddles it immediately, uh, soothing it. You see her hands kind of, kind of like, so, like they're there, they're there to the pearl. Uh, she kind of gets a reading. Uh, as she looks at it, though, it's she says, it's cloudy. I, I can't get a reading at all. I can usually measure the island face slightly and just monitor the activity, but now it's dark. It's not as pretty as it was. Tell me, did you see anything in the pearl previously in your dream? It was just fading. And blue and purple. Interesting. I bring well, up the point. And King Flynn. Yeah, I, I just didn't see that. I saw your father was not in good health as this pearl was fading. In my dream. And as she holds it closer to her chest, as she contemplates, uh, she says, "The attack must not be over." I pull out. While evading the skull, I just pull out one of those world seed walnut things, and I'm like, one of these might have been planted here. It appears to be uh, an evil seed of some sort. Uh, Gene. Mm -hmm. Immediately when you when you smell that, uh, you feel very nauseous. Uh, previously, you hadn't been that close to it. Uh, however, you get us uh, very like energy sickness as it just yeah, sort of is overwhelmed by it. Uh, the, uh, the acolytes as well respond very similarly as she, they kind of don't like the feeling. Uh, she quickly grabs it and you see that she casts the identify spell uh, and she's filled with knowledge. Uh, and then she says, uh, she says, she like says directly to Jean in squeak speak, she says, this is dire. Uh, she turns to you, where did you find she, these seeds? In Captain Cervantes' cabin. Pieces of the puzzle are adding up. These are world seeds. Oh, shit. What does that mean? When you plant a world tree, it imbues the land around it with the fey of those inhabitants of the land. Ashenwood is a great example of that, for it is the bright shining star of our world, that's where these seeds presumably came from, but if they're that corrupted in that, in that state, she pauses a very, like, I want to say 15 seconds, I'm not going to sit here like that, but a long fucking time, she's a very grave situation. Uh, uh, she speaks to Jean, she says, I need you to bring this to Ashenwood to be examined. Ashenwood? She says it's on the mainland, however. I feel what we've seen here in Poseidon's ribcage may just have been an initial step in a much more sinister plan. What are these called? They're called world seeds? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so what do we do that's planted here? Do we, how do you find that? I mean, can you dig it up? Huh? The land around Actually, here has been wood. planted. Uh, it would mostly reject it, however, the fact that these are tainted it leads to new possible tainted fey imploring our world. Hey guys, do you remember that really like bright, shiny red symbol underneath the really big gross toad? Mm -hmm. That was a big, big hole. Well, Potential for the hole. The queen kind of looks at you like, what? There was a hole. There might be the, a seed down there. The markings, know. the markings that we spoke of. It like was possible. We couldn't dig it up. Dig Surface sites. location. Yeah. yeah. X marks the spot. It had a whole <laughs> animal guarding its thing. It was big and it ate a tiny mouse. Bowl. I, I pointed it out to your acolytes at various locations mm -hmm. of these symbols. Yes. Yeah. They have been investigating and have not returned any solid evidence yet. Uh, I, that's a very good Let's idea. See. A very good lead. Um, she, and she like she points at one of her acolytes. Are you hearing that? You get a nod back from one of them. Uh, uh, she says, um, 
She says, uh, we can assure you passage to the mainland. However, that's all that we can afford as a society. We're a little scammed. Okay. Uh, how big is the boat? Can we all come? Yes, passage okay. for your friends is a shirt. Uh, this is in squeak speak, you guys <laughs> did not hear that okay. actually. Okay. That is bad. <laughs> no, you still say thank you at the right time, actually. So she's <laughs> not the dishes came in here trying to like flirt with the queen and shit, and then all of a sudden things became serious. Yeah. So like I'm low key mad just sitting in the corner just kinda watching, you know. <laughs> See, see what's going on. You know, I'm still listening. I see it's a situation, but roll a performance check. Okay. Not why you came here. <laughs> I came to flirt with the hell's all this bullshit. One. Oh my god. So as you guys are sitting there pouting in the corner, uh, the queen eyes it up and totally sees what you're doing and is so turned off by it. She's like, I thought. He was responsible. I thought he would be over here I'm talking to me, <laughs> making the first move, but he's gonna silently weep in the corner. <laughs> All right, <laughs> she is drying up as you are pouting with your lip out. Like, mm, in the corner. <laughs> Shit. Uh, she's like, uh, I do uh, recommend staying for a bite of food. Yes, please. Ooh. Sure. Let's do it. I'm a little bit more interested. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't say that. I, didn't say that. I was thinking. I just say okay. Oh, you're thinking it? Okay. Uh, uh, as everybody kind of walks back towards the, the, the thing, she says, Who oh, is this? Sit next to me. Ooh. Okay. Uh, and then you guys like, have a good brunch? You guys are now cleared of your exhaustion status. Yeah. Surprisingly. Wow. However, you guys feel like lingering still like you feel yeah. like like your level of exhaustion is gone like you're more awake this time but you feel like you're gonna get really tired again mm. okay. so why it's a great question can i roll an inside check on that yeah Two. Damn, these rules today well your fight yesterday was really big you and you were jumping around you wrestled an alligator oh yeah <laughs> so i mean you're just kind of exhausted that's fair uh, yeah, so you guys eat, uh, you laugh. Is there anything you guys want to say specifically? Otherwise? To the queen? Yeah. Can I ask her if her kitchen staff would prepare some meals for the journey? Yeah. <laughs> Roll a persuasion with advantage. Ashenwood for the four of you. It should be about ten days worth. Uh, however, I guess I can't trust that you go there. Uh, I will entrust that you have this food. How much? Ten days? Do you know them? Well, history check. You are a German. History is wisdom. No, intelligence. Uh, 16. Yeah, with a 16, you know that one of your earlier older friends who was a druid, uh, Gaston, he was actually like a trainee from the IDC. So like that's kind of where you learned your style a little bit and some of your flair that you do is like how you picked up from him. Uh, as he was, uh, I believe, a Janazi. Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know about them and you think that they do good work. You think that they uh, are kind of responsible for the health of the of the Ashenwood. Cool. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I know where the council is. We can we can speak with them and get advice on this. Perfect. We'll work on it. Okay. Uh, Let's say thank yous. Uh, Jacobian the whole time actually was silently just stirring the sausages on his plate and little peas and such as he just didn't really feel too good about what he did. You guys managed to wake your way out of the castle then with us okay. information and ration in, rations in hand. Okay. Um, she, she sent you with the Pearl of the Fae as she wants you to have this uh, inspected by, these, by the druids. I thought we were inspecting the seas. Both are very vital at the moment. Okay. Outside of the castle on Poseidon's Root Cage stands our party of adventurers uh, overviewing you guys as the door kind of shuts behind you. Uh, standing in front are the two mousefolk guards just kind of doing their job. Uh, I'm going to turn to you guys. What would you adventurers like to do? Find a boat. Um, where should I put yeah. this pearl, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Can that uh, it to you. <laughs> you can put it with my emerald. Does it fit like in my vest? <laughs> it does. Okay, I'll tuck it in my vest. But it's really bulgy. Okay, you can tell it's there. Yeah. You can make I mean, it you don't have a bag? <laughs> you don't have a bag? I don't know. We should find bag. you a bag. I have a bag. I should. Oh, well, I have a backpack, it says. I've never pulled it out. <laughs> Is this one on your back this whole time? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah, I have a backpack. Does it fit in your backpack? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go find a How boat, How big guys? is this pearl compared to me? Like, it's not just a mouse folk. Uh, comparatively, um... Well, the princess was holding it like this, and you're like the yeah, same size like as the Yeah, clutching it. So, right? so, like a youth basketball. Okay. Or a youth volleyball. Okay. Gotcha. So, I have four scrolls. What do I do with a scroll? What do you mean? What's in them? I don't know. I received four <laughs> scrolls. I think it was the last time we played. Oh, we received them on his behalf. That was when mm. Lucius Finger taught was MIA slash we were playing four. You received four books. He did not receive scrolls from my oh. notes. I don't know what that is. Unfortunately, I have no idea what you're referring to. <laughs> Alright, well, we don't just have to run it like that. So you have four scrolls, but they are blank pieces of paper. Yep. Uh, Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe you can write them. You could write a letter. Nice. I'll write it to the princess after I leave her. So, Ludicius, you know, we fought some dudes together. It was lit. Uh... Are you interested in, like, destroying this corruption of the planet? You know, Bruno, I really don't got nothing better to do. I'll be down to run it. Y'all are a pretty cool crew. Yeah. Yeah. Right on, right on. yeah, we're gonna head up to the astronaut force or whatever and peep the, the council, so, Drew Council. Yeah, can we show them the map? Yes. I think it's kind of cute. He doesn't even know where he's like from right guys. now. I mean, it's it's a mixed bag, you know? Like, I yeah. imagine they look like him with white beards and shit. Are you into wooks? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. So then, Ludicius, with knowledge of the world and his home <laughs> location a little bit, can now ask, answer your question. <laughs> uh, I mean, is it you down, right? Yeah, I'm down go. Let's, let's run it. And that's where we're going. Let's go find a boat. Sweet. So you guys all, with a hitch in your step, take off towards the harbor. Uh, as you guys kind of make your way there, you notice, like, everybody is packing up and going the same way you guys are. You notice, like, the entire uh, Lintol Festival. You guys see, like, their purple flags and stuff torn down, all their tents rolled up. Uh, orcs are carrying stuff on their shoulders on the way out. Uh, no lizard folk anywhere. Right. Uh... You guys walk by the stage, and it's still, uh, you know, got flowers and stuff from the celebration yesterday. The spirit is lively. Um, someone roll a d20. Twelve. What do I add to it? Nothing. Okay. Uh, you guys walk towards the harbor. Um, 
Is there anything in specific you guys looking for? Otherwise, I want a perception mm -hmm. check. The boat that Just they're allowing us to take. Perception check. Perception check. Four. Twenty. Good. Nine. I'm just looking at the sky. Oh, it's a really nice day. It is a really nice day. Fully sun, uh, sun beaming. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. life from the rain yesterday, so everything is really extra vibrant and colorful today. Uh, that is Brunar Noda with his one. Uh, Ludisius with his twenty is looking eye the keyed out everything with a twenty. He knows exactly what's going on as he sees four massive boats there. Um, actually, three massive boats uh, and then two kind of slightly smaller ones. The slightly smaller one, one of the smaller ones he notices is directly his boat. He knows which one he is. He sees his illusion crew uh, kind of glimmering in Can a way. Can anyone else see it? Uh, absolutely. It's docked. It's, oh. Yeah. It doesn't look like ghosty? No. It is looked like it is well understood that it is being controlled by an illusion. Uh, as you guys kind of walk towards the main dock area, uh, you guys see Chester with big weights around his ankles, He's getting like, little pieces you know? of wood from the debris yesterday, uh, from the huge fight, uh, and trying to pick it up slowly, piece by piece. You guys see like a little oh, tiny yeah. garbage pile, as, as he probably started like 20 minutes ago. I got a 15 perception. Do I see our boat? Um, at, well, with the 20, he knows... I can answer pretty much any question he wants about these boats, so... Mm. Uh, so yeah, next to that, like kind of similarly apart from it, you see the little galley that you guys took for sale the other day. That was your adventuring boat. Oh, that's the same. Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other boats, um, I guess with your 20, you assume that they're going to different like major harbors in the world. Okay. Uh, and then I can, yeah. Do you guys want any more information? Like what are you looking for exactly out of me? I guess with your 20, by the way, there are also... Uh, so like large groups of people, large groups of interesting people, all kind of walking towards the set different boats. So yeah. we know which boat is ours, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I know which one's mine, and then they know their mm -hmm. different boat. Mm -hmm. so I guess I'll, I'll specify a little bit. Your boat, you know, is going to be taking you uh, outside of the bay to a larger fish, larger supply boat that the House of Cain uses for transport. You were just there, and then you were going to head back home. Oh, shit. So that's what you were doing. Okay. Uh, you have options with your boat. Uh, however, you would have to be sailing it if you took your boat. And you guys would encounter whatever you do, but on a slightly smaller ship to be responsible for that. Uh, if you guys want to take like the main ships back to somewhere in the world, you can Where go up to them. Where do the main ships go? That's a great question. As her curiosity gets a money, like, touts her way, kind of pushing through everybody, as her head is kind of where everyone's ass is. Working her way to oh, the. Oh no, I'm getting farted on. <laughs> You're already saying. Yeah. Wakes away the ship. All right. This is good. Walk. Get your notes ready, guys. You know, okay. one of the boats is heading to Hoova. You know, one of the boats is heading to the cork board. You know, one of the boats is headed to Etergraul. How do you spell that? E T T E R G R O U M O U Umlaut L. What was the last one? E-T-T-E-R. You double, um, you with a double umlaut and then L. I got at a growl, basically. Uh, Etter umlaut. The root. Sure, bro. Growl. Did you guys say like growl? Okay. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> From your guys' backstories, nothing. You know nothing I like. <laughs> I don't even remember where I told you I'm from. <laughs> I say, Ludicis, by the way, there was like some evil dudes in the court board that were definitely like part of this whole subjugation imperialist movement. As you say that, um, you get kind of elbowed in the back as a, a, a party walks by, a, a bunch of tall individuals, all of the instruments. You can see one has an accordion, one has uh, kind of a mandolin. And uh, the other one, I don't want to check my mini, has another one, has another instrument. But they're all playing, <laughs> they're all playing slightly as they're making their way towards the ship, towards the court board. Oh. They're tall what though? What is their race? Uh, what do you roll? Nine. Uh, you know one had some scales, uh, you think that the one with wings is definitely a tiefling. Cool. I look at Bruno they're, they're walking past, can we take these guys? Oh, we can take anybody, dude. 
Let's <laughs> fucking go. Alright, I mean, out. why why would we though? I fucking nudged you, bro. <laughs> Oh, he did? Yeah, he fucking nudged you. <laughs> I didn't notice. Oh. Can we go? Well, 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 isn't it my little saviors? As a dark, tall, suave elf, or elf approaches you guys. You see by Brick and by her little <laughs> satchel on her side uh, that uh, Roanoke has approached you guys. How's it going, Roanoke? Uh, lovely. What a show you guys put on yesterday. We were We got a good view from behind that giant wall. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, I see you guys are heading out. Where are you, uh, where are you t he heading going to? I haven't mm -hmm. decided yet. Uh, we're thinking about maybe Ashenwood or the cork board. Well, have you put any thought into my offer of the Puva Zoo? I forgot to tell them about your offer. I'm a little scatterbrained sometimes. She's kind of visibly like... It was busy! <sighs> but she's like, okay, that's fine. Um, well, I do have... Projects, research projects, uh, sitting uh, that I can assign through the Puva Zoo, the Puva Research Center. If you guys want to stop by Puva, I really enjoyed working like with you. With the for money. What would we be doing though? Uh, actually, I need you to roll a charisma check to see if she's. It was almost good. Six. Uh, no, this one. Uh, she says. Well, it, it's a little more classified information, but I think you, she kind of surveys you guys, like a little bit of adventure, correct? Damn right. If you're seeking adventure, feel free to give me a call. I've still got your business card. We'll give you a call if we need you. She winks and then uh, turns and following her is a couple crew members that are carrying like food and stuff for her animals that she was taking care of. Uh, she starts boarding the boat to Pua. So, are y'all not interested in this? Yeah, she gives later, me Woody. weird vibes. Okay. I'll, I'll keep, keep that in my back pocket. She does not hear <laughs> She's too far away. We should have asked how much money she was going to pay us. That wasn't worth it at this moment. You oh, yeah. see a little gnome with very thick glasses uh, and a sack uh, making his way towards the boat to Puba. Or actually, I'm sorry, the boat towards Ettengrau. You do not know who this little gnome is. But he's being escorted by uh, two, actually just one mouse folk guard. Okay, um, what's his attire look like? Um, you think he has a lot of heavy metal. Uh, you see on his person that he's got a little repair hammer and sack with your 20, you can see he's like puncturing the side, so it's a bunch of nails. You think that this is definitely like a blacksmith or a carpenter of some sort. Okay. <laughs> uh, you said he's walking towards me or boarding? Do you see that he was boarding the boat to et 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 Etchagrau? Pit the grout. Just thought I'd put that up there. I should ask him about what that place is like. Um, Alright. Are you asking? Damn, what's his name again? I don't know where I am. But yeah. What is Mr. No Man's name him. again? Hey, Tarukshi! His ears peek up. <laughs> oh, hello? Where are you going? Uh, his, his expression, just like everybody, is just kind of like happy and kind of like relieved to see you guys. Uh, he's, he like kind of swoops up his uh, sack and he says, Well, I, I was kind of ransacked, so. I figured it's now a good opportunity to kind of expand my knowledge a little bit. You know, stop being taken for granted. Hmm. Where, yeah. Where are you going? I'm headed to Dragon Spine, but... Where's that? What, what, what you find in there? Well, have you been to the mainland? I haven't been a lot of places. I came from the forest to here. This well, is my <laughs> first adventure. This is your first adventure? Mm -hmm. Well, it, you guys really blew it out of the water. Go Literally. I go home, and we're not going home yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he laughs, and he says, it seems like that's kind of what we're doing here. But, um, like he says, no, I'm headed towards Dragonspire. It's, it's where all of uh, us crafters go. It's really nestled into the larger uh, Windigam spine. Can y'all help me with geography? Oh, come on. He kind of looks at you guys. You know, <laughs> the giant mountain range. 
and it's fine. But I think my calling is just improving my craft and craft feeling a little craft, cramped here. Well, thank you so much. Uh, can, I, can I call upon you in the future? Should I need another great axe? Make a persuasion check. <laughs> That is a 19. He says, absolutely! I love when people crush with my weapons, and you put my name on the map. Ooh. So feel free to hit me up, you guys. I really Thank appreciate you. you. Uh, uh, he waves and gets on board, on board <laughs> to Etrograph. Safe travels, Tarushi! So, y'all trying to get on this boat for... Where are you trying to get yeah. Right as you start talking again, uh, uh, get some money and Gene are uh, kind of like pushed out slightly as you know the flow of traffic is kind of like to the harbor. It's really immense as you guys rush against this a lot of fur as two were um, werefo kind of walk past you. One a giant snow leopard with black spots all over it, and the other a true jackal kind of beast looking man as his, uh, his black hair ragged and muffy all over the place his face is pale and elongated uh, his ears are very large and uh, cartoonish almost as these men are, I guess you could call them men as they have the humanoid aspect large chest overly sized muscles probably I want to say seven feet kind of can I just stare at them drooling <laughs> <laughs> absolutely they got shiny beautiful fur <laughs> Uh, the snow leopard, as he brushes past you, uh, he, like, takes his tail and flicks the drool off your face. <laughs> no, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> uh, you recognize them as competitors in Igor's Challenge. Mm. What the fuck is Igor's Challenge? We'll fill you in later. It was, it was a thing that happened. We didn't participate. Yeah. Where are those two? Yeah, so, can I ask where. Which one of these locations would be closest to, like, where the, the Druid Council is? Um, yes. Is that not an actual word? Are those all the ships is. and we still have our right. ship? That but I don't know where our actual yeah. word is. There's the three ships and then the ghost yeah. ship. Yeah, so ship. the closest yeah, thing that you would probably have to do. It's going to be about equal distance either way. There's no direct way to like the middle of the forest as it's kind of like really dense along the coast. So you have to go south towards Etograul <coughs> or north to Puva and work your way inwards through large forests to get to the mother tree that is Ashenwood. Okay. Mm. Puva's the capital of the world, right? Puva is the capital of the world. I and you said, something. you said Etograul has mountains. Would that be harder for us to cross? Edergrau, no, it's a city. A city, yeah. It's a, it's a harbor city. So, we just came from a small town, yeah. If we had to go through Puva anyway, how about we hit that on the way to uh, Ashenwood? Sure. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go to what Puva. boat should we take? Are we gonna. Should we take the main boat, boat or pool? the little one? Are we gonna. Car caravan this? Sure, we could take We could caravan. We could take your ship to the bigger one and take our little one too. To your bigger ship. Yeah, let's That's do that. Cool. Then we can roll with both ships once we get there. Like a tugboat? Yeah. Tugboat. It's right. inside my boat. It's got a little mini garage right. for the boat. We'll bring them all. It's <laughs> <laughs> the boat garage. <laughs> it's, it's, the house of, yacht. it's the house of Cain. That's how we roll. <laughs> So you guys are taking separate boats. To the big boat. To the We're big bringing boat. them all to the We're big all, boat. It's all tied together caravan style. So. Tied together. Okay, so <laughs> from what I hear is you guys are taking the two smaller boats that you guys own towards yeah. um, the House of Cain's larger boat. Where is boat? the House of Cain's yeah. bigger boat going? On its route, wherever it's we going wherever we want to go. Like this you. is my boat. Get some money. Come on. Oh. <laughs> you said it was a shipping boat. I didn't know if it had pri prior pathways it needed to go. It can make a boot, so we'll be all right. <laughs> okay, so you guys make your way towards the boats. Uh, as you approach your little galley, it's a very similar sized. Um, 
you recognize yeah, the, your main ah uh, yeah your main little health uh, your main loyal housekeep uh, it's an elf illusion you walk up to him and you know him as Alfonso mm -hmm. uh, he's standing he has like a little tiny thin mustache and a very thin beard kind of like going down uh, and as you approach he screams finger tot where have you been Fonzo! It's mm -hmm. been a ride, man. It's been a ride. We just had to go handle some business. <laughs> uh, he holds out his hand like this. You do it, and he goes through you, uh, and then goes, punches you in the face, comes back, like, with his, like, illusionary hand, and, like, you know, like, illusionary script, like, your skull, but with rubies for the eyes, looking very cute. He's like, your money, my friend. How's it going? Like he was giving me money? Nah, he was just doing something cool. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> like his ghost hand. Right. Yeah, what's up? Uh, he says, are you ready to uh, depart this, he looks around, lovely island? Oh, before I forget, Alphonse, these are my friends. <laughs> and he's like, hi. Hi, 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 hi. How are you? What up, Spectre? Uh, Is that offensive? I am not fake. <laughs> I am neither real or fake. I am merely a part of your journey. Should we take off? <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Bob. Uh, let's go. Damn. Why are you rushing me, bro? Uh, I've just been hanging around doing nothing. You know, I've seen you walk by left and right, you know, and then I see you do such a big fight, and then you don't incorporate me. I'm here for you. Yeah, yeah, I got you on the next one, Bob. All right. I believe you. I believe you. They're coming just, swinging. Oh, absolutely, and he swings left, swings right, like right through, you know, and just ethereally you feel, I don't know, nothing, but you feel connected to him. All right, all right. Uh, you see a couple, like, waves of, like, well, you kind of see his hands kind of, like, pull down in one of the sails to get ready for going. Can you go get on the other little boat? Or? Is that the big boat or the little boat? This is the little, little galley that you he, that you guys gotta like, get out there. You yes, okay. also gotta go to your boat. Mm -hmm. What time of day is it? Oh, like 10.30? 11? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You guys have lunch? Oh, or you guys have brunch with the queen? Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Nice day. Cool mm -hmm. bones. Mm -hmm. Alfonso kind of taps his foot and he says, I can leave uh, whenever you're ready. So, like, uh, y'all trying to go to your boat? Or? Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna ride in this boat. Let's go, Bruno! I'll accompany Jean. Okay. Wait, where's the boat? It's right next to me. Yeah, it's pretty much, like, oh. behind it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so you go, um, you guys, like, tie a rope to it or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, say, onward ho, Alfonso. Onward ho, Alfonso! Uh, <laughs> you see he kind of, like, illusionary, like, press the digitations like a whip, and you see him crack it, and you see, like, down the line, like, little snips go as, uh, the little oars start to kind of get you out of there, and you see like your small sail start to puff up a little bit of wind. Uh, you guys make it out there. Let's see if there's any issue. No, you guys were the first ship to depart. You guys leave with no issues. Uh, you can see after you guys kind of like get out of the bay, uh, you guys look around and you guys now are on the open ocean. You guys haven't been there for a week. Uh, many of you guys aren't super familiar with the ocean. Gene is proficient in water uh, vehicles. Oh yeah. So I need you to roll me a skill check to see how well you get What does that mean exactly? Just roll a d20. Okay. I can't help you out here. I know nothing. I got it too. <laughs> All right. You tie, uh, you tied it a little too close earlier when you were getting it ready, so it kind of like bumps <laughs> Am I and still dashes. exhausted? No, I'm not exhausted, but I'm just... No, you, you just kind of tired from yeah. all the events of yesterday still. Yeah, uh, so they kind of like bump <laughs> holes a little bit, and you're a little bit worried. Uh, but nothing happens because you make it out there. Good. A little rough. I haven't been on the scene in a while. <laughs> <laughs> been on land for too long. <laughs> you guys make your way. Row, row, row. Thank you. Towards this larger ship. Yeah. Uh, to kind of lay it out for you, this yes. is a single level ship. Picture a really massive canoe. Uh, it's got large like rowers. 
like large rows meant for specter illusion rowers as well as spot for cargo in the middle uh that's well protected you know because it's not like close to the sides or anything like that uh it's very deep i want to say like 40 to 50 feet across 300 400 feet long we just see some boat uh you see the sigil for the house of canes painted gloriously on the side uh, what are your colors my friend what are the finger top colors black and red yes uh, as the black hole is painted it stands uh almost like a silhouette across the horizon mm -hmm. the sigil of blood red as you guys approach uh i'm saying you guys just yeah roll me uh yeah, all of you guys roll me a check to see if it falls off the boat. <coughs> 15. 8. 8. 18. Okay, so you all <laughs> managed to make it on. Um, you kind of finger snap, and you tell a couple people and to hook up your boats, and you do. Everything's good there. So, so you, uh, Alfonso is standing, uh, and he says, we have directions to take you to the House of Canes. Now... What happened to my rummer ass? My ghost rummer ass. That Are you asking like DM? I'm asking DM. It empowered Bo Naga to, to summon during that fight. Yeah, so like it's gone. There's no I'm not coming back. Absorbed. That Fey is out of here. Okay. Damn. Okay. Cool. I want to let you know yeah, though that, that move that probably, probably saved. Probably saved. You almost died. In that battle. Yeah, do you? Right? I almost died. Yeah. I, I'm actually curious about what my health even is. Well, now it's back up. We're yeah, going to right now. Okay, cool. You were really low. Really low, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, sorry. Alright, let's jump back in. <laughs> uh, wait, so what do you say? Uh, he says, uh, I'm waiting to take you to Polterra, how the House of Canes. No. Who gave the orders? Well, that, well, that was the order oh, previously, was unless something changed. Yeah, so and then we that chose was just, <laughs> that was the path. And then he does a finger motion and snaps previously, and then he and you guys do immediately start moving uh, east. Whoa, 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 Alphonse. Uh, hey. uh, he says, well, I'm doing my job. Do you not want me to do my job? <laughs> Listen, we gotta take a little detour. A detour? There's one there, there's one location. Where do you want me to go? Alphonse, <laughs> we're going to we go. <laughs> Puva. 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 We're making a stop at Puva. Does Puva. your father know? He doesn't need to know. Why does it Are you going to go interact with the World Council? What's that? Oh man. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is his father is constantly complaining about, oh, the World Politics <laughs> Council coming in and taxing his imports, taxing his exports, ah, da, 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 you know, even for something that's not real, it's like, shut up. Do you even have to pay taxes? I don't pay anything, I am not real. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. You clown Alphonse. Now, we're not going to mess with the World Council. We got a little side mission to handle. Yeah, a little side mission, huh? Okay. He says, well, if that's what the boss wants to do, all right, change of direction, let's uh, go that way. <laughs> uh, and then immediately uh, you guys see like the sails kind of mm, groan and creak as they start to turn as you guys switch your direction from east to starting to head north from Poseidon's rib cage. What do I have for refreshments on this boat? We have yeah. you want. We brought rations. We have rations, but, but, but what do I yeah. have? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. You know. Um, you promised us. Awesome food. Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> Ooh, what you got? It's a great question, you guys. Let's see what Where's we got. Where's that kitchen at? Uh, you were kind of bluffing. You don't have a whole lot. Like in your head, <laughs> in your head, you had so many dried fruits and meats and everything. Uh, but when you kind of get towards the back of like your storage and your cargo or whatever, uh, as you kind of start peering at your stuff, you realize that you just have like bread and stale little wafers of. Nothing. So I was gonna offer them food, but uh. Oh, well, there's some jam too. <laughs> we can wait, we can live on our rations. <laughs> For now. Like, what do you mean, man? I'm hungry. Alright, you guys really want this bread and jam? Yeah, do you yeah. want any pickled eggs or something? 
<laughs> I love that shit. Bro, so like I fucked up, I thought I had more, but these ghosts really don't do their job. Pickled eggs is like... Alfonso says, I don't eat! I don't eat it! <laughs> Fuck Alfonso, and I tell you to stock the goddamn fridge. <laughs> Well, we can have I'll some. take some toast and jam. I made some jam bread. Yeah. Awesome. Um, uh, after this first night, I'm going to say that there's going to be a few days here for How travel. It's a great question. I don't think you know. Is there any, like, beer or anything? Absolutely. Like, there's, there's, there's barrels of Yeah, there's barrels of, like, <laughs> That's uh, what you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> We just got beer, no food. So we just go on like a three day bender. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we can do is drink beer. Uh, it's day beer, so it's not like super alcoholic. You guys have to be drinking. It's how we're hydrating. <laughs> so it's the food, you know? Yeah. Of course, it starts with carbohydrates. Uh -huh. Calories. Mm hmm. Okay, so uh, you guys go. It's a very uneventful first night as you guys are kind of just at sea. It was a beautiful day earlier, and there were no issues weather-wise, as you guys didn't feel any storms coming or anything like that. Uh, as day turns to night, you guys look up, and it's a beautiful night. You guys see, like, it is almost bright because of how many stars you can see. You know, the how clarity many is just. For <laughs> my roll, only one. <laughs> only one visible moon. However, it's that very more bright. Stars. <laughs> Means what? we can see more stars if there's less moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty smart for getting some money, man. They I look up and I say, yes, sky. you can see the wolf cubs sucking its mother's teats tonight. <laughs> Where do you see teats in the sky? As you point it right there, you see it looks like a, penis. a shooting star <laughs> come right out the tip of the teats <laughs> and they stretch out. As you what? guys are looking up, <laughs> you, should, you should know more. The sky just illuminates as you guys see hundreds, if not thousands, of trailing uh, things of light as uh, the meteor shower just kind of Ooh. brandishes across. You guys see there's trailing colors. I want to say, can you roll me an arcana check, somebody? Everybody? Nat 25. Yeah. One job. Uh, with Four. this nat 20, you feel like there is a massive migration of fey energy uh, going across Ooh. the, using the what direction? residual energy of the rocks, of the meteor shower, to kind of create a flow, a path for themselves. Uh, you don't think it's anything negative. You think it's just a natural flow of life, as it just... Am I getting a danger sense? No. Cool. You're getting a beauty sense. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is very beautiful. Can we do anything with that? Like get some power from this meter shower. Was it going? all get inspiration for it. Was it going in any particular direction, like north with us? Like, are we following it? That's a great question. Uh, roll uh, just because I like your question so much. I'm not even gonna have you roll. You know that it is going exactly west. West. What is west? west. From your current position, it's towards Ashenwood. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody roll me a d6, please! Three. Alright, now someone roll me a d20. And then someone else can roll me another one. Ten. No. Twelve. Nice. Okay, you guys managed to roll another day that is sunny. Very light Ooh. breeze, just enough to keep your thing going at nearly full speed. There's no rain, not a cloud in fucking sight as you guys are just cruising along. Uh, it's hard to tell where the ocean ends and the sky begins as it's so clear and crystalline. How are you guys feeling as characters? Relax, I'm bored. Ooh. I'm gonna do some stuff. I haven't smashed anything. <laughs> <laughs> I am wasted. Can I, I am drunk with Bruno. Fucking <laughs> 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 plastic. What are you guys talking about as you sit day drinking on day two? <laughs> I'm giving him like the gory details of the lizard folk anatomy. The <laughs> <laughs> lizard folk parts. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm teaching him, teaching him the, like the dwarvish dance. Where you kick your legs out and stuff. Yeah. And like, this is how you do it. And I'm just sitting here jamming, trying to like freaking 
<laughs> Play <laughs> some beats with the freaking so we can dance to it. <laughs> so, as you're having a good time, uh, you suddenly feel your pocket get kind of hot. Oh shit, so I reach in there and you see uh, in your pocket uh, your little box is glowing. Is that my House of Cain's box? It is. Your sigil is glowing, indicating you're getting a message from your father. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong, dude? Dude, it's just like that end well, but don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I pick it up. Uh, you flip the top open and immediately see a projection of your, uh, your father's face really zoomed in. <laughs> he says, Ludicius, this is Solomon. Hey, Pops, how you doing? <laughs> uh, uh, he waits for your reply. He pulls himself back a little bit and he says, Are you done with your party? No, we got a little side mission we're going to go on. Good, you have a new side mission. You must go to Yakomst. They are refusing to um, complete our deal that we have previously agreed upon, and I need you to shut them up immediately. Click. Oh, <laughs> I need to have time for a response. Fuck. Where is that? What's that about? Yeah. Um. You know immediately what he's talking about, as Yakomps is your strongest trading partner and trading alliances. Uh, so when he says go there, you know immediately that you're supposed to go to like one of the main harbors that uh, you do the majority of your trading with and talk to his business partner there. What's going on? From that call, you don't know what was going on. I just know I need to go there. <clears throat> like, uh, he wants you to go there. He yeah. wants me to go there. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of options for you guys Where here. Is that? Huh? Yeah. Where, Where is, is that? it? Uh, I guess Ludicius would know. It is dire it's south. Like, um, like directly south of the Sidon's ribcage is the Corkboard Island, and then uh, ways down is Yakomst, probably like the second largest island where, in the world. Where is it in relation to Ashenwood? Uh, yeah, Kuba. Southeast. And directly south of Cuba. So, so the completely of opposite direction. You can say no to your dad. I say no to my parents all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't know how important this is. Well, he didn't tell you how important it was, so it clearly wasn't that important. You also know that your dad's word is pretty much law. in Because the House of Canes is, for all intents and purposes, its own government, you know? Yeah. So, like, it, when, when the king says to do something, like, you kind of know, like, oh, shit, there's no fucking other option. <laughs> but also, you could say, fuck your dad. We have a second ship. We could, I don't know, you can meet up with us later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, isn't, I mean, Ashenwood is, like, closer to there, right? Would that be as fast as going to Puva? It's the opposite direction of Ashenwood and Puva. Further south than where we just were. Uh, so Ashenwood, I think, is like. I don't know what the fuck Ashenwood is. So Google is right here to here. Right? So we got. I mean, Ashenwood is here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. Sorry, 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 I'm trying Oh, he wants you to go home, huh? Like I said originally. And I'm plastered, right? <laughs> so, Alphonse, I'm gonna need you to take one for the team, bro. Uh, he says, no, 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 no. I already am the team. I am made up of the team. Your father will literally disappear me. Well, if you are not living or not dead, it doesn't matter, right? Well, I don't want to not be not living. Well, you're already not living. It's <laughs> fine. Alphonse. He got just confused. Yeah, he's so <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, you see the cogs turning in his little illusion. He's like, I'm not Starting to make prepared sense, for this highly. <laughs> but I am prepared for bringing you back to your father. Yes? No? I don't want I'm to sure your me. mother wants to pinch your cheek. Alphonse, remember that one time I did you that favor? Enlighten me. <laughs> regardless, regardless, what, you, what would you like, friends? Alphonse, I'm gonna need you to take. Uh, I'm gonna need you to take my boat with my ghosts and uh, your, your your brethren. 
and uh, I need you to go down to uh, your combs, and I need you to handle some business for me. Hmm, you know I cannot physically leave the boat. <laughs> How were you friends with us earlier? I feel like it would be hard to negotiate a trade know. deal. But I'm yes. drunk. So like, am I really thinking right now, drunk? <laughs> you just like, yup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do All I know is I don't want to go. I got to go. <laughs> Let's go later. And, um, we'll do this stuff first and we'll go to there later. How urgent yep. do you think you're dead? <laughs> you think it's really urgent? He didn't say do it now. He just said do it. That Upon means do it later. <laughs> <laughs> do it on our way back. <laughs> Alfonso kind of throws his hands up and he says, I do not care. I am just a uh, master of uh, doing your bidding. So can I send his ass around? I will do what you say. Yeah, let's go. Alfonso, get the fuck out of here. Go handle this business. Come back when you're done. Do you know Wait, is there leaving ship? us with no ghosts? Do you know how is to drive a ship? This ship? I don't know how to drive, oh, a, no, ship. drive a ship. <laughs> Hey Alphonse, leave, leave the crew, just go by yourself. <laughs> what do you want me to do? The crew is me. Can you spin your all in one? Aye, aye, aye. I'm not the whore anymore. Okay. I'm not no young illusion. I've been hanging around for... Can you make another like illusion? Uh, <laughs> Alright, you guys. This should be... This should, could be a quick trip. It's just... Okay, okay. Let me, let, me, let me get this right. You want me it's to not. take the big ship, the one we're on now, to uh, Puva. To Puva. Yeah. Okay. That's where I want to go. And then you guys are on the ship too. We are on the ship yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. So then, what are we doing with the with the, with the galleys? Are you with us? So you, I am not going to Yakoms. Then who is going to Yakoms? No one's going to Yakoms. Oh, your father going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Yakoms later. I really gotta not contemplate now. this though. What? So. Uh, do you know what else is there? Like, what kind of things do you trade with? Like, would it be beneficial for us to stop there and load up on something? <clears throat> yeah, if we go to Puva, I can get everybody some gear. You know, they no, have, uh, uh, I mean, to your combs. Yeah, we could, I know a good, uh, uh, what the hell is it? Craftsman, what is it? Craftsman? Swordsman? Builder? Swords builder guy? Blacksmith? Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Yeah. I know a good blacksmith out there. We can get some nice gear before we go over to uh, Puva. Okay. And then I can handle some business while we're there and we can. Uh, I mean, if it's worth our time. To get I will, these I will these say, uh, walking from Puva to Yakomst uh, is one, not possible because Yakomst is an island, and two, it would take months if you go the way this we're suggesting. Why don't we just take that boat to Yakomst like, first? Yeah, uh. I need to get to the council. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't be going the opposite direction. There's like evil encroaching. <laughs> it's like on, the end of the world. The world. <laughs> yeah, it's just like so. So like we got these like world seeds that are tainted. <laughs> Roll me a constitution <laughs> from handling them so much. Just like dropping these bombs. <laughs> Seventeen. Nothing. As your hand resists. Actually, twenty. Mod yeah. twenty. Nothing happens. Come. Yeah. You know the world or trade. You know what? Uh, I think he'll understand. Let's send it. Let's go to Puva. 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 Let's go. Puva. I'm like dad's lame. <laughs> That's not my dad. <laughs> to Puva. Alphonse, let's go! Uh, he uh, kind of picks it up as the uh, rowers kind of increase their speed a little bit. Oh. Uh, and with your decision, the rest of the day... Fucking it. Remains uneventful as you guys are now basking in the sun. Uh, Brunor is receiving a nice tan uh, out there. Actually, so is uh, Isamani. Can I find a really big hat that's like way too big for me, but it completely shades me? Absolutely. <laughs> so you don't get your sunburn? <laughs> yeah. Have a really big hat on. Like a sombrero. Okay, I want. I need three d20 rolls. Four. Thirteen. Nine, four, thirteen. Uh, uh, you guys kind of wake up to a nice little pitter patter as you guys kind of. A little bit of rain hits your face really early in the morning. Uh, Can I collect some of that rainwater because it's not salt water? 
Do you have a little pouch for drinking? Somewhere in my bag. Absolutely. You put your uh, purified water in your in your inventory as you use your pelt to kind of collect and make a really shitty funnel into into your pouch. Oh, that water's gonna taste so bad. <laughs> That pelt is not clean. Say slightly purified water. <laughs> uh, as it's raining, you know, there's a couple clouds, however, it's just really patchy, kind of like it was today. Uh, I would like... Um, someone roll me a d8. Seven. Let's go. Uh, you guys go about your day. Uh, you notice in the... You know what? We're done there. Another day passes as this travel is very long and laborious. Uh, day four, I would like you guys to roll more d20s for me. Everybody? Yeah. Fifteen. Six. Six. Eleven. Mm. Uh, so with with a cold front coming in, uh, you guys see that this morning it's darker than it was yesterday as the storm clouds are growing. Uh, they were really patchy and gross. Uh, visibility is kind of limited as you guys are, even though it's like a one-person deck, uh, you can still climb to the top of the crow's nest uh, and get a good view. And they're still having issues being more than a couple miles out. Um, what were you guys doing on the ship today? I'm taking an Earth Dream nap. Now is the time, like, to work on like, uh, like investigate things or to like uh, work on skills if you want stuff like that. Hey, Just let me know. North, can you can you teach me how to read? I'm napping. <laughs> Jeez. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm trying to scope out what's in the ocean around us. Jean, can you help me learn how to read? I teach you how to read. Speak, speak. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sis, do you know how to read? Can you teach me? Alfonso, <laughs> 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 you know how to read? Uh, he's like, I babble, I know how to read the map. Can anybody teach me how to read? Can, can, I, can I see what's like in the ocean? Um, yes. I'm gonna say you're on a boat. I'm on a boat. Yes. Make cool. a nature check with disadvantage. Well, it's my dream. That's like my ability. It's like I can see like 500 yards in every direction. Mm. Yeah, but is that through? Like, don't you have to be touching rock? No, like, it can be ocean, too. Are you sure? Yeah. Ooh. All right, uh, in you did that it, case. You did it on the boat on the way here, too. On the way to the mm. side Okay, cool. I uh, can look it up, but yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, that that's, sounds good to me. Uh, as you're laying there, uh, you feel an obstruction. Not, I guess not an obstruction, but you feel structure building under underground as you're asleep essentially right are you in like a full dream it's like it or are you just like a trance so there's two there's two different things there's a the earth dream where i can basically see everything around while i'm sleeping mm -hmm. and then there's the ethereal site where i'm conscious and i right. can just see the ethereal plane overlapping real life gotcha uh yeah as you got as you're asleep what are you guys doing I'm just I'm looking at it and it's not working. Roll me an intelligence check. 18. Actually, as you're kind of looking, uh, especially the, your pocket wizard book, the one that uh, has like a fire on it, you know, it has little pictures next to the things. So you say fire ball. And you're kind of making things connect a little bit by yourself. Uh, do I accidentally make a fireball? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> cool. You said I was like proficient in water crafts or something? What? Uh, water vehicles. Water vehicles. What exactly does that mean? That, that means like you can steer? drive and steer them without taking disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. So I don't find anything interesting. Uh, not yet. Uh, Ludus, is you doing anything important right now? Um, no, I'm fishing. I was gonna say, yeah, I'd solid. be really good at fishing with that proficiency, but it's not really the same. I right, okay, spend be, a lot of time on boats. You guys are just sleep, casting out. Um, you guys think it's probably gonna be a great day for fishing because it's like so yeah. uh, wet and cool, so 
fish are going to rise up, you think. Uh, Brunor, you feel uh, approaching kind of rapidly, not rocks, but organic structures hmm. from under the things. Well, you guys, all above, he's in, in his dream, you guys are just completely fine, you're having a good time. Roll me a perception check. Do we know how to swim? I do. Apparently. Because we swam in the cavern and now I swam. What do you get? You swam. swim. I read no Four. Two. Six. Yeah. Perfect. You guys see absolutely nothing as you guys are <laughs> really intent on fishing, discussing oh, nice. bait uh, techniques, who is the best master baiter. You guys make your way. Uh, you are just so into your books. And Alfonso is an illusion. And He's got him. You can't see below the water. <laughs> okay. So as you guys go uh, approach the front of the, the bow of the ship, uh, that's when you start to really start to feel like something's about to happen. I'm going to say that you get the sense that you should probably wake up. Is my major right, sense I'm a, going? I'm going to bust out of my, up? I'm a bust out of my dream. That's not how that's applied. What? Why? Because it's dangerous sense about like an enemy. Oh, is it? Okay. I'm bust out of my dream and be like, Yo, something <laughs> big is beneath us. And go, 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 go. Ah. As uh, the front of the boat, uh, you guys feel like a skid as you er, 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 as you guys know, you guys feel rush, like, uh, not rush, like the crushing of the side of the hole on something. Ooh, that sounds hey. bad. Roll me a constitution saving throw, everybody. Significant. Actually, strength, not con. Strength? Six. Six. Strength, what is proficient? Twenty-one. 21 as well. 16. Damn. Uh, you three as it's like do, 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 uh, drop what you're doing, quick grab the sides. Bruinor has think we need to whoa, is thrown uh, completely overboard as you hear a splash as his dwarf ass oh, yeah. hits the ground or hits the water hard. Uh, you're about like five feet overboard as you kind of were thrown um, out. Uh, wow. More, uh, it drags along. Can we see uh, what You it see, is you hear point? Alfonso go, we're taking water! But down! And then he kind of motions, and in the front you guys see like a crack forming, uh, and it's uh, water starting to splurt. Uh, do I know how to fix water cracks? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, how I'll, do you do it? I'll follow um, behind and chuck water. That's all I can do. Okay. Yeah, I'll instruct her to get the water out, and then, uh, is there like a patch? Is it like a wooden chip? Yeah, just. I don't know. Um, immediate. Well, do you have anything on your person? Is it a big patch? Uh, no. I'm going to say that you can grab a couple supplies, so. uh, but it's going to take a second. I have a crowbar second. and a hammer. Alright, you take your crowbar and a hammer and you start smashing some barrels and boxes that were on the cargo part to hopefully get us a couple uh, of so supplies. Yeah, so you start yeah. hacking away at it. While they're doing that, as you hit the water and you kind of feel a, a rush, uh, do you open your eyes? Yeah. You open your eyes uh, and before you, you see uh, a bleak, white, large coral reef. Uh, oh, as it's so. kind of growing, like the larger, it's like really large around the top, like near the water, uh, but then kind of like reverse, like shrinks down, down below, okay. you know, kind of reduces in size. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we like stuck on this thing? Like, did we hit it and stop? Uh, or are we no, you're along? currently dragging alongside of it. Okay. Can we uh, try to steer out of it? Uh, like, Alfonso. Yeah. Alfonso tries. Uh, he, you see him like doing his motion, standing at the uh, illusionary wheel. Actually, it's probably a real wheel that he's spinning as he's <laughs> really trying to yank it. It's not working as it's kind of like peels along the side. Uh, make another strength check. Okay. Um, Nat 20. 18. Perfect. Uh, 17. Uh, all of you guys, uh, are knowing what's coming now, have your legs stable, you're ready, you're holding on to the sides. Uh, you guys still don't see anything, so can I swim? Poorly. <laughs> You're a human, so like, whatever, but this is open ocean. Yeah. Can so, I... can I get a perception check on this thing? Yeah. Roll it. <laughs> uh, I guess if I add my stuff, so that'd be... Uh, like eight. Uh, eight or nine? As you splash, the water was bubbling all over the place. Uh, you think that this was... Um, once a very privy, very like populous place for sea life or whatever. Uh, so you're really confused as to what's happening, why it looks so bleak or whatever. 
Uh, with a nine, you see a large cavern, kind of like towards the bottom, uh, kind of open up to the structure. Uh, however, the coral is kind of like, I'm going to say with a nine, you just see kind of like a hole. You don't know anything else about it. Have we noticed that Eleanor really? has gone overboard? That's a good question. So I'm going like, to say he heard, you guys heard him splash. So like the reef is like hitting the boat. Or dragging along. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, with the ten, you don't you see it, it like breaking and cracking that side of it that that yeah. is making the hard contact with. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna swim over to where it's contact. Okay, you are slower than the boat right now, so you are kind of going like this. Or can I can I try to get that. back on the boat? You can. It's going kind of fast. I need you to make an athletics check for me to kind of like catch yourself and like with your swimming. Or, you know what? I'm just gonna use it. I'm gonna use my helm of, of leaping. Bro! Foot. Can I leap out of the water like that? Uh, sure, <laughs> let's do it. Say, so use your helm of leaping. You don't even need to roll. Yeah. Uh, you see around you a huge bubble, and you, you take this opportunity to kick off from this bubble, and you. Yeah. You should try to push us out of the reef, too, when you land. Does that work like that? Uh, <laughs> you have more momentum? I mean, yeah. I, can, I can jump. Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. Yeah. Roll, can, roll a d4 thinking. for direction. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> four. Four. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. Uh, you <laughs> jump, you land right uh, in the middle of the cargo where she had just like smashed and tore apart some of the uh, things. You crack open some boxes a little bit more, creating more wood for more tears, which are increasing as this is now a two-person job that's needed to repair the hold. You, with your feet though, when you land, your kinetic energy to push it to the right, completely detaching and separating it from... Uh, the coral, as it's like giving itself like a ten or fifteen foot like buoy. Okay. Uh, hold on. <laughs> However, from your landing, you had so much force and so much uh, brutality with your step, it actually turns the boat sideways, oh. and you guys start taking water oh, on no. that way. Ooh. What do you do? Land the boat. <laughs> Is the uh, first hole patched? Yeah, I'm, I'm still fixing it. You had managed to patch like the, I'm gonna say like half of the damage that was originally done before. Whoa! It started oh, tilting yeah. sideways. Roll me a strength check. Me, mate? Yes, everybody on the ship. Two. Nine. Nine. Uh, Ooh. 20. Whoa. Don't you add 20 you add anything to that? Wait, 19? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I subtracted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 19. Oh, bad. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> awesome. Um, what'd you get? Nine. Nine. Um, you two are flung down to the sides that where it had like started to tip. You guys barely grab on to each other. You guys are right next to each other. You guys are secure with the ropes. Uh, uh, however, Bruinor is making his way. Like he's essentially right next to you guys, being washed away, kind of over you as you guys are holding on. Get some money. Managed to grab onto the other side. She is now on the side that's up with her nineteen. Can I? You, gotta, you better do something. Can I do a really big jump and just go, like, rock the boat? Ooh, like, smash. No. Yeah. Literally try. Um, you're so small and you weigh so little. Oh, no. I'm going to say but you I'm can really do it. I'm really fucking strong. <laughs> you though. can do it. Okay, do it. Okay, so. Add your strength. So that is a. Fuck, wait, what is strength? So that's a. Perfect disease, so that's three points. Can I add inspiration to that? Oh wait, fuck, hold on. Strength is 15. Can I add inspiration to be 16? You may add inspiration. Cool. That was really hard <laughs> math. Sorry, friends. So 16. Only 16? Yeah. Well, unless I... your inspiration, you roll a d6. Oh! So, you add that. so I'm at 15. You almost know how that would be. 18. Uh, <laughs> 18 will help. It doesn't completely do it, but with your, with your jump and your land, you know, you're kind of like, I'm picturing you grabbing onto the side, like jumping up and swinging down really hard, stomping, and what it does is like overcorrects it just a little bit. Stop this would stop taking on water initially. However, because there's like a cut in the side, it's still like taking on from that way. Yeah, it's kind of sinking. You guys are hanging like from the side of it. Where'd you go? Okay. Uh, you guys are. Yeah, yeah you gotta. You're gonna have to pull yourself into the boat. Okay. Can I? I have a rope. Brunor is about to hit the water if they don't make an action to catch him or something right now. Yeah. Can I possibly? They're watching me tumble over. Yeah, like, literally. Grab my rope and like tie it on to something. I have a fifty foot rope. 
like tie it on and then absolutely where you tie hold it. on to it. Wait, you said I'm like falling over the edge. Yeah. You know, like a railing or something. Mm -hmm. That's what I have. Like onto the railing and like hold myself there and then throw the end of it to whoever's closest to me. Um. If they're falling too. Yeah. What what I can say to do in that amount of time is okay. You realize yeah. oh you're in danger. Uh. You're kind of like rope. holding on. I don't know if you can. Yeah, that's true. That's, it's a lot of shit. A lot. It's a lot of yeah, shit, my friend. Actually. I'm gonna say you're able to pull yourself up, and you can whip your rope out. He can pull himself up, whips his rope out. Uh, however, the crap on the boat is growing. Okay, we need to go fix it. Alfonso says, "Hang on!" As he uh, overcorrects to try to help with the uh, with the steering. You guys have no idea which direction you're going. The wind around you is kind of starting to pick up. As I'm tumbling, can I cast a spell? Yes. I cast water breathing. Absolutely. Nice. You, what? You I pull out a reed. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that crash, hit the you? ground, and then <gasps> the reed floats away as you're able to kind of catch yourself. Nice. Oh. Good job. So I want to throw a rope. Now that he's hit the water, I want to throw a rope to realize that ascent. Cool. Good. I smack it away. What the what? fuck? <laughs> Breathing water doesn't mean that you can swim better. I can swim. The, water, uh, the boat is now taking on a lot of water. It's now taking on a lot of water? It's now taking on a lot of water. Can I still go back to... You can, yeah, please. Okay, I've been doing this then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you do that. Um, I need you to make... Gene, help! Yeah, yeah can I, I want to keep fixing it if I'm not falling. Yeah, the if, you, if you're not falling and he's uh, tossed brood over the rope, which yeah. she had slapped away, you yeah, use your action. Go back to try to fix it. Yeah, use your Why? action to try to stabilize it. Use your roll. Um. Fix that boat then. <laughs> what do you need? Roll me a survival with advantage. Everybody survival? or just Gene? Just Gene. How big is this gash? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say it's growing to be like it's like six feet long. Oh. That's bigger okay. than me. It's not like super big in regard to okay. like, how wide. With advantage, eight. It's like taking on like gallons of water. Mm -hmm. What's that? Eight with advantage. Uh, eight with advantage. You're not able to fully patch this as you just kind of like stand there pushing wood on it. Like I'm just like maintaining it. It's basic, not getting any better. Yeah, it's not. You're not fixing the issue, and water's yeah. still coming on over. Not nearly as fast. Someone do something. Can I swim over to the gash? Um, the boat's moving at like the same speed you are, so you kind of like are keeping pace with it. Yeah, can okay. I like? Crawled swim into it. Um, swim through the catch into the ship. <laughs> uh, mm, He's small. I'm gonna, let me see how if the boat slowed down at all. You said I was going the same speed. I know, but you guys want to do some cool stuff, so I gotta change it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you guys are moving at the same speed. So I'm not near the gash at all. You're near the end of the boat as you kind of landed and it kind of got ahead of you as you then you were like, oh okay, shit, I'm going to take the rope now. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you dangle the rope. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need this. I need this. <laughs> you grab onto it, now you're just kind of being dragged behind this now sinking boat. Uh, you guys, give me one more strength check, everybody on the boat. And give me a strength check to hang onto the rope. Eight. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh, nice. awesome. Twelve. Okay, so with your strength check, not only do you hold it, you uh, straighten out the whole deck of the ship even more with your 20 as you kind of, I want to say you do another bam, bam, swing down, uh, kind of croaking uh, that guy. You passed, uh, you passed as well. When you say strength throw, is it, is, if that's bad, yeah, proficiency? Yeah. Up here? Okay. Got you. Uh, what was your exact roll, Ludicius? 16. Yeah, with a 16, uh, you're able to cover his ass. Nice. If you got less than a 15, um, yeah. I was going to say that like you felt him let go, but no, you're able to like <laughs> make sure he's on there. I'm going to say, uh, with a 16, you even pull like, half of it towards you. I have 23. I have 15. And I have 15 because I would not have that either. Oh. I forgot to add my proficiency bonus. Okay. <laughs> Brunor being dragged behind the boat, swimming his best, uh, or not swimming anymore, holding onto the rope, being dragged behind the boat. Uh, Odysseus holds on tight to the side that is ripping. Uh, however, the boat is more stabilized than before. You are still hanging on water. Uh, Alfonso is doing his best to handle all the steering. He is doing fine on his rolls on my end. Uh, I need a, a, motive, a move action from one of you guys. Alfonso? Just did someone do something? 
Uh, I just jumped and shook the boat to the be more level. I was I trying to climb on. Mm-hmm. Go back to Denmark. Yep, so you can keep removing water. Let's yeah. see. Let's see. Okay, you're doing that. I'm still trying to pull Bruno's ass onto this boat. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, give me a athletics check with advantage, as he's giving you the help action, yanking you back into the boat. Uh, eight. Uh, yeah, with an eight, uh, as you kind of, you're holding on really hard, you realize you're going to have to climb, maybe, to kind of get around it. You let go of one hand to try to get there, and then you realize, oh, fuck, and you're just kind of holding on with one hand now, as it's, like, too hard for you to, like, get up there. I am... <laughs> I mean, you can cast a lot of spells. Okay. He's mentally strong. Uh, so you failed to pull up uh, Ruinor. Um, I'll draw on this turn here. Uh, there's going to be action needed on the front of the boat, otherwise there's going to be too much water to be taken. Or too much water will be taken on the boat. Gene, what you need me to do to fix this shit up? I need a new strategy, apparently. I'm not fast enough working with the wood to fix it. Do you want me to break uh, something? Does anybody have anything with a pack that would work? I'm trying to figure out if I have anything uh, to try to patch this. Or like, can I like try to speed up my patching, or should um, I try to find a different solution? Uh, <gasps> throw me a d20. I have know. an idea. What you got? Stack some wood strategically like a puzzle. I'm gonna put the bar awesome. of holding in front of it. Can I do that? Absolutely. Cool. Stack it up so that it's <laughs> held in by the middle piece. I'll put the bar and do the thing. Okay. Great. Do I still need a strength throw? No. You sh- okay. change the packs. You quick throw all, all the debris you guys can on the whole. Th- 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 uh, you kind of line it up. You push. Yeah, you, you, you sandwich it, I'm guessing, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gene hits the button. Boom. Uh, you see, uh, this time. The amount of water coming onto the boat is like slowed by 95%. At this point now, like you guys have it covered. It looks like a slow leak <clears throat> is going on. Uh, however, I'm going to say there is like about yeah, an inch of water here, on the boat. Fix, now that we got, we'll just fix it with normal now that it's mostly control. Uh, absolutely. And Alfonso uh, realizes what you guys are doing and actually slows the boat down a little bit. So you're able to climb back on board. Uh, for all intents and purposes, Alfonso, uh, yes. Uh, would you like me to slow down? Would you like me to stop? I'm like, yes, stop the boat. <laughs> As he drops the anchor. As it starts to sink, he reels the sails up. Uh, you guys are stopped. You know, slightly raining. Uh, you know, a little bit of water coming out of your boat. Mm-hmm. Let's well, fix up the boat. I want to go yeah. down to where the, the hole is, and uh, I'm going to <coughs> cast um, remove water. So it'll remove like ten gallons of water. Okay. And then, and then as a I'm bonus sure. action, I'll do the cantrip mending on like the edge of it, just to try to close it a little bit. Close the hole. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So of the boat. I'm sorry. Or of the. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. The hole. Oh. Easy. It won't do all of it, but it'll do some. Um. Yeah. Normally that's not how mending uh, works, but I'll let you do that this time. I think. Oh. Okay. Uh, isn't that like a two foot? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Unless that is what your spell thing exactly says. Yeah. Well. Here. I'll... I didn't know how it was applied, but yeah. We'll just say that it, uh, that you stop the hole. I think it works perfectly. It's a great solution. Your bar of holding uh, let go, you know, the wood stays essentially, it's like mended, essentially repaired into the whole hull. Uh, you guys now have a fully functioning ship with wet socks. Uh, and for that encounter, I would like to bestow upon you guys 650 experience points. Let's go. Okay. Do I even wear socks, boys? I don't think my hair is Your hairy feet are now dripping wet. <laughs> Alfonso says, if we stay still, stay stagnant too long, we will be drowned out. All right. We'll be what? We'll be drowned out. Storm. Let's go. Yeah, Alfonso, um, let's Can we it. see, Ooh. or like, can you see, like, or feel the reef? Yeah. Like, our paths out of here? <clears throat> well, I got it. From, what, from his good look, he knows that it was more like a central, like, growth of coral that was dead. It not necessarily like a coral patch. I was like, yeah, this is a weird... Coral growth thing. We really and got fucked up by was, the reef. There was like a yeah. There was like a hole in it, 
kind of like, lower. It looked like a layer or something. Oh, shit. Can you still breathe underwater? Yeah, totally. You should go check it out. Loki. Uh, I don't Wait, know. can you cast it on... Let me think about this. Maybe I can cast it on you guys. How many? Can I, like, a make a net out of my rope? Um, I'm gonna say there is a fishing net on board. Can I go up there in the spot to just like wiggle my feet for my mom? Just like off. sit and like wiggle my feet. Like yeah, easy. On one of the little row rowing uh, pews, you sit there. And so guys, there's a storm coming, so we're gonna have to. Should we go? If we go, we're gonna have to make it quick. Oh, so I can do up to ten people uh, within my visible range. Um, with that, because it's a level three. Yeah. That's Ooh. fucking tight. So, sh sh do I have to cast it again? You cast it earlier. I'm gonna say no. Okay, cool. Then we can all water breathe. Well, I'll say like earlier, like you cast it on just yourself, but then like you're gonna residually try to expand it, and I'll allow it because as a DM. Nice. Then yeah, you guys want to check out this weird hole? Let's do it quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get some gold. I want to bring the fishing net just in case. I'm going to bring a javelin. I'm going to bring a javelin on me. Oh, Do you still have the skull in your pocket? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I it's been with <laughs> chattering. Chattering? Uh, you feel it kind of like moving around. With the spell of underwater, the gift of breathing, you guys pop under to explore this coral reef. Uh, give me a perception check. Oh, nine twenty. Fourteen. Uh, Six. Bleak. No. no energy. Fragile. As you guys swim down, you see the, the just the chaos that you guys caused to this reef. Uh, you think this outer section that you hit uh, looks cracked, almost chalked, as you guys just have to like smush and decimate the side of it. Kind of looks like you took like an eraser and just uh, 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 sandpaper the sandpaper it down. Uh, you guys get a little bit deeper, about 30 feet below the depths. It's getting a little bit darker. What is dark vision? Not me. Uh, you see clearly as you guys are having a harder time, so you follow Brunor. Uh, Brunor leads the way to uh, what he knows as a little cavern hole uh, towards the bottom of this uh, this coral reef. Uh, would you do anything specifically? Um, I'm going to peek into it. Uh, you peek into it, uh, and with your... With your dark vision, you think that the water goes up about 10 feet and that there is a cavern there. Ooh. And I go, well, yeah, because I can breathe and like, check out, there's there's air over here. So you like motion there's that, like oh, you, are you able to talk underwater? Seven I mean, I can bubble. breathe just normal. <laughs> so I'm saying that you know, with the motions, you're able to communicate <laughs> with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Swim in, uh, you pop up, uh, you guys shortly follow. Taking your first grasp, gas of breath. Uh, uh -huh. You guys look around. Give me a perception check. One more, one more time. One more time. I'm gonna uh, do produce flame. Yeah. Get some light. Yes. Make it with advantage, everybody. Oxygen. Let's go. Okay. Thanks. Oh, nat twenty. Oh! <laughs> wow. That was their fifteen. Gene pops wow. out of the water. She's so focused. At the same time as Brunor uh, lights up and immediately, uh, in front of her, she sees a ah! uh, a bully ward. Oh, what? Uh, for reference, a bully warg is essentially a, a tadpole with legs. They're just like a really big frog guy, overly cartoonish, just kind of skinny legs as his neck and head is all one as he lays back, splay, just snoring away. He has an actual bubble that grows and recedes inside okay. as it takes frog a deep guy. breath. A bully warg? <laughs> and he does not hear you guys as he... Okay. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah. Around him, you see... Uh, a little Kemp, a uh, little Kemp farm, or Kelp farm, uh, as well as like a little table. Uh, it has a couple shells on it, and uh, what you think is to be like primitive utensils. Uh, you see a couple bottles, like a collection of bottles, on a, a table of his that have like letters inside. You see about like four or five of them with the twenty. Wait, what? Say that last bit again. On a table, there's like a bunch of bottles with uh, little letters inside, kind of like a message in a bottle. Okay. Oh, shit. 
Mm. That's why like, it's weird. Yeah. Be like, all right, guys, this seems lame. <laughs> hey, guys, we're back. Let's go. Low key, but we should at least get out of those spells. You do, you. Yeah. Damn. All right. Can I sneak over and grab? How many were there? Can I grab one? Uh, all of them? Yeah, and make a uh, spell check. So you get out what of the water. Inspiration? Oh, can I do inspiration? Sorry. You, you can. It's a D6. Yeah. One. Oh. Nine. <laughs> uh, you get out of, you kind of go up to like the little cave floor and touch it very cold and damp, you know, or the coral floor. So you okay. kind of cold, you lift yourself up, it kind of crump, crumples and crumbles beneath <laughs> your weight from the pressure. Uh, you get up there, you kind of walk, sh- mm-hmm. and very loud, you know, however, he's hardly quiet. still going. Uh, you go, you grab one in the middle, and as you go to grab the middle one, two, 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 uh, uh, the other four fall, you crash, smack into the bottom. Can I grab one and then, like, jump back in the water? Yeah! So, <laughs> so you just kind of, uh, you see, you just passed out yeah. as you're holding one of the bottles, just, oh, look at the boy uh, as his blue skin uh, in the light from the produce fan kind of shimmers, uh, you take the bottle and you put it in your pocket. You turn around, give me one more stealth check while you get back in the water. Fifteen. Uh, uh, and very carefully, you set yourself in. No one is the wiser, as you just hear. Okay. And then, yeah, uh, I'm also going to get out of there. Yeah, but you guys dip out and swim back up to the boat. Okay, um, can I read what it says? Uh, as you guys kind of yeah. all get out of the water, soaking wet, Alfonso standing there tapping his foot like, Are you done playing around? Mm-hmm. Can, we please, can we please get to where we need to go? Yeah. Let's go. Or, you know, we're not going where we need to go. We're going where you're taking me to go. We're going to where we're taking you. I'm gonna be like, how about I give us a couple boosts, get us there faster. Let's go! Uh, uh, yeah, Alfonso kinda tilts his head. What do you mean? <clears throat> oh, I can cast Gust of Wind. Ho ho ho! To get us going. Mm-hmm. Back on track. My friend, yes, after you were dragging us back. Well, yeah, you need it. <laughs> alright, so we, we, we continue to Puva. Yeah. Alright, 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 to Puva. Uh, if you will, if you will. Uh, uh, yeah, like you see, like the big sails come down and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to go? Uh, he kind of points at the crow's nest. Yeah. Wait, I, I want to be. I feel like that would be make it weak. Yeah. Like that would make it. Well, no, you gotta go up there. Like, so well, I'm gonna just go to the back of the ship. <laughs> okay. And then like rest on the back. <laughs> Guess the way. Right to the sails. It is less effective than you wanted it to be. As you are back there, you do, you go, it does kind of increase your speed, but only by like half of it. How many days does it even take to get I mean, I can cast that a couple times. Okay. Big bet. Jesus, I play with Tucker, so he's like, Big moves. So I'll do that one more time. I just thought about this after four days of sea travel. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, you guys go and make record pace on that day. Uh, you guys spend the night. Oh. Oh. You two, uh, when you awake today, uh, are feeling very tired again. And you guys now have another point of exhaustion. We still have that sword with us? Mm-hmm. Are they on the second? Oh, Do yeah. I have any more dreams? Uh, will you owe me a constitution saving throw? Fourteen? No, uh, fifteen. Fifteen? Plus three. <laughs> you plus is fifteen. 
Thanks, Again, you feel fine as you wake up. Um, is there anything we can do to make our exhaustion, continual exhaustion, go away? You don't know anything's afoot. Okay. They I'm don't know happy. that they're exhausted. They don't know why. They don't know that they're I'm continuously not being bad drained. Yeah. Right. Do they have a specific level? Yeah, exhaustion level one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Level one. It goes to nine. Oh, well, uh, nine. Actually, had... you're right. Actually, I lied. It does go to six. Yeah, I have I had any more dreams? Have I had any more dreams? Six. Wait, why are we getting more exhausted right after we wake up? That's a good question. Can I roll oh. an insight on that? Mm, sure. Can we know why? With a disadvantage. Ooh. 14. 14. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Uh, Gitsamani has no idea why this is happening. Damn. This uh, is not your realm. You, no. I made it a 25 DC. You were not going to understand it. I wouldn't have understood You wouldn't have understood it. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, I want to look at the pearl, and I also want to know if I've had any more dreams or anything. Uh, that's a great question. You have not had any more dreams, however, that's a cool I thing wanna, to ask about the pearl. I want to pull it out and look at it, see if anything's changed. Like if the crack has gotten any bigger. Just because I'm like kind of feeling exhausted again, I'm like just sitting there wondering about stuff. Uh, yeah, as you pull it out, it's the towards the end of the night, you guys had a big day of dealing with the coral. You guys are making record time. If you pull out, you notice that it's getting a little bit wider, not necessarily like deeper, but like, uh, and it's not it's like glowing chipping more. yet. But like it's starting to look more fractured. Uh, the colors are this kind of the same in your head, kind of like that disco ball of switching. It was like purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but you do see that same tree. What tree? You see the same tree that you saw in your dream. I see it. In the pearl. Oh. Like okay. But just kind of like a reflection, is it? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, do I think there's anything I can do to, like, hold it together? Like, keep it from cracking anymore? As a fighter with very yeah. little okay, can arcana I take it, can thing, I, take it I don't know what you would do. And ask Bruno if he knows anything. I'm You're like, magic -y. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I can mend stuff. <laughs> and I try to can mend try? it. Can we try? Sure, try to mend it. <laughs> Roll d20. Roll d20. Come on. Do I add any? Yeah, add your, <laughs> add your wisdom. Add my wisdom. Your new spellcasting modifier. So that would be. I gotta double check. Yeah. So six plus eight is fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. 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 Uh, with the fourteen, your mending doesn't seem to repair the crack, and it doesn't seem to prevent it from cracking. Uh, however, the influx of positive energy isn't that not thing? noticed. Hug the shiny pearl, and you can get an inspiration point for that. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all trying to fix this crack? They they managed to fix the crack earlier. Well, the boat, right? Yeah. Oh, the boat is fixed. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought we were talking about the crack in the pearl. My bad. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just giving it the. Um, what is in that bottle? Oh yeah. Can I try to open it? Can I try to get the message out? Yeah. I want to. Okay. Can I try to get out delicately, and if, I, if it doesn't come out, I'll smash it. Yeah, you reach. You reach in. <laughs> you got tiny little mouse fingers. Okay. I'm gonna pull it out. Okay. Can I read what it says? What language is there a message on it? Uh, you look at it, and you cannot read this. You have no idea what kind of script okay. this is. Is it like an elegant script? No, it's very it's barbaric. barbaric. <gasps> can I try? Okay. Yeah. I'll show everyone. See if. Uh, Brunor recognizes that from one of the books he took off of Cervantes. Ooh. Ooh. I'm like, oh, that's that weird language that Captain Cervantes had in this book. Uh, did this frog guy look like the, the giant frogs that we saw? No, this is like a humanoid frog type humanoid. guy. Okay. But you got, he's miles he's away. He's so miles away. Yeah. Okay. Or they are so miles away. can't misgender my frogs. Okay. Uh, yeah, and that is it for the, the, that night, unless you guys... Can we try to decipher it? I want to pull up 
the skull because he was chattering just the other day. Yeah. He probably knows how to read it. Can you read? He doesn't have eyes. He doesn't have eyes. You pull him out and he goes, Oh, I really keep it cramped. Oh, no. <laughs> Captain oh, forgot to his hat on beforehand. No. Oh, absolutely perfect. <laughs> so it's really keep me cramped in there, Captain. Hey, I'm not getting a good feeling. Where are we? I'm like, we're, we're sailing to... Uh, we're sailing to Puva. To Puva? We're making yeah. that move so quick? Yeah, we already took care of the mouse folks. So that's all yeah, I didn't, we didn't think that was going to be a challenge. Those pussies. <laughs> yeah, we're rats, you know. Yeah, well, us lizards, we can just... You're not a lizard. I, I help you. I have the lizards. <laughs> Whether I'm sworn to or not. He is. <clears throat> oh, so all right, all right, so how do I use this sword? Uh, uh, what's a good question? <laughs> uh, he's rolling one, uh, so he says, just fucking stab uh, him! And what? What the point here? I don't have arms! Then what happens? <laughs> they bleed! <laughs> <laughs> Why does it make people tired? Uh, Yaga Baba's curses can't be lit that easy, pal. Would she curse it? How'd she curse it? Man, it's like you don't even know what your own stuff is, buddy. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the bar for captains is falling so hard these days. A millennia ago, you wouldn't have lasted. This <laughs> thing's talking shit, Bruno. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just sitting there chattering. Um, he had information earlier. No, he doesn't. No. Okay, so I like I like put his head on the hilt of the sword. <laughs> oh, okay. When you do that, uh, you see immediately his eyes kind of like fill in, like, circular with, like, a ghastly impression of, like, where his eyeballs would go. And you think he actually had very nice, kind eyes. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a man, you know, probably, I'm gonna say a half-elf. Uh, kind of, like, fade in before he goes, Whoo! Point him at the sea. Uh, he says, Onward! And in front of you, you guys see, uh, like, a, a switching path of, like, fade energy kind of guide you, but what you see uh, is kind of like a clairvoyance effect, kind of like an illusion, kind of like the shift. Uh, this fey, however, is not uh, positively blue colored. It is a very deep mix of purple. Uh, actually, yeah, exactly like your shirt, as it's kind of like weaving in and out in sort of a uh, helix pattern, kind of guiding you on the way to Puva. <sighs> the wind picks up, uh, and you guys are just propelled forward. <sighs> Let's go, what a vibe. <laughs> Has managed to skip a day of travel. How many days we have left? I'm getting bored. There uh, we go. Alfonso hears you the next there. morning and says, Roughly four days. Okay. Four days left? It's How many days in are we? Four days. Okay. I think. Mm -hmm. four days. Everybody, please roll me D20s. Two. Sixteen. Seventeen. Four, eight. Oh. Where in the fuck did this happen? <laughs> Sorry? Is this house filmed the whole time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's my tent that's in my bag. I don't know how you're carrying <laughs> that, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, okay. It has been here this whole time. In my bag. <laughs> the mouse folk has a whole ass giant tent. You got a fucking hotel <laughs> in bro. I dragged it along. Yeah, there's just a line behind you where you're dragging your big tent. <laughs> that's dope. Uh, you guys awaken the next morning. Uh, it's very sunny. There's a light breeze. Uh, somewhat normal. Uh, okay. Did you leave the skull like on the hill to the front of the boat? No. All right. I put him back in the bed. After a while, still screaming, he was like, "Woo!" Says so you kind of took it away. Took your hat off. Why is he screaming? Uh, he was really charged up. Yeah. Uh, he was like directly channeling some energy on me. You guys make it there. Someone please roll me a D8. Did we like go on the course of the obviously? Wherever he I was directing you, which was to Puba. Okay. I got a good look on this. Damn. 
Uh, two. Yeah. Two. My rolls have been low lately. Yeah. Roll it when it's not your turn to get off the bad juju. No, that's fine. Uh, you guys truck along. Roll it a whole bunch more times. No, you uh, you guys got to continue some normal day sailing so far. Uh, you guys are working through more of your rations. How, how many days are we at? Um, I'm marking that this is the fifth day. Okay. But you're on like the sixth day of the projected travels. So you got like four days left. Okay. Uh, today, uh, is there anything in particular you guys wanted to accomplish? Have I been able to learn more reading? Uh, yeah, you're actually slowly making progress. Can we try to decipher the message Roll at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, you want to spend time trying to like have, put like, it together with a log book. You want to try yeah. to like decipher this draconic or this reptilian. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm Absolutely. Sure. I'm trying to. Hi. Uh, 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 brush, oh. Hey, hey, chill out. Brush up on some uh, fighting skills. Yeah, you can train with Alfonso. Let's go, yeah, yeah Alfonso, we're going to the back. Absolutely. There is where you start your like fencing training, or is this something in particular? I've got a crossbow and a battle axe. So right. Uh, so Alfonso takes uh, takes the time and create uh, like press the digitations, moving little targets as they kind of like fly by. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Um, that that's a really good. Ins were you adding inspiration point to your thing? Why yes, I will. Because it seems like something Ludosius would do. You're gonna it's take time deciphering. Are you helping her decipher? Yeah, we we'll put our heads together. Awesome. I want you guys both to roll me history checks, and you can roll it with the help action. Roll with advantage. History is so five. I got a fourteen. Okay, with a five and a fourteen, you guys are able to piece out a couple of words that couldn't be directly translated. You guys see uh, Captain Cervantes' name uh, in plain common, essentially. You guys also were able to make out their word for Yakomst, which was on the letter that she found. And his in in the logbook, you find homage to a deity that you would recognize, but I can't find its name. So put demon number one. As you find uh, prayers and little chants uh, that you can, like, like the way that they're written, they're kind of in couplets. You think that it's kind of like a religious thing. And the last bitch you are able to decipher is corkboard and whore. Like Yup. <laughs> <laughs> And this is all in the scroll? Well, yeah, well, one of the scrolls like mentioned Cervantes and Jakomst, and then his long book, it the log book, it mentioned uh, the court board, which is a pirate town that you guys have heard about, and whores. Can I, I'm going to hold on to that sword and try some of these chants. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Roll me a performance check. <laughs> and maybe like a Performance is charisma, so 14. Uh, yeah, as you sit there and hold the thing, are you, how loud are you saying the chants? Like, out loud to everybody, or you're kind of whispering to yourself? Um, just like regular speaking. I don't know how close people are to me, but, you know, like if they're in this room, they can probably hear me. Gotcha. <clears throat> um, as you are doing your chants, uh, the first one, you know, uh, whatever, uh, nothing. You go to the next one, you try. You're really not really doing too well with your reptilian. Uh, but on the third one, uh, bah, 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 right as you've hit your last syllable, uh, for a split second, so minuscule that these guys don't notice, uh, your eyes roll back in the back of your head. You are brought uh, 
essentially to a scrying eye. Uh, you can see all around you, like, you're kind of looking like a pinhole vision uh, around the sides of you. You see a uh, wild gas-like purple fey, uh, and you see one giant eye looking back at you. With a slow blink. Uh, roll me a perception check. Uh, with a 13, you're able to see there's a long vertical slit. You see that's a large yellowing eye uh, from the color, and when it closes its eyes, you see uh, a large single scale. Uh, you're not able to like grasp like grasp how large that is, but you think it's bigger than you. And within back, you are uh, you are back. Your eyes pop back. No one notices anything, uh, and you realize you're not tired anymore. I was tired? You've been rolling for constitution saves, and you realize you don't feel even, like, residually tired anymore. Okay. Okay. Anything else? I'm still trying to read things. Get some money. Still reading some shit. Roll me a luck check, D20. That'd be, like, 12 or 13. 12. <laughs> Where are you sitting? Sitting? Where are you sitting on the boat? Um, uh, uh, uh. Probably sitting up towards the top, like my legs still through the railing because I don't want to dangle my feet while I'm trying to make things. So like the railing is sitting here and my legs are like through the things and I'm just like... Uh, awesome. Okay, so like you're looking out towards the sea. Uh, so you're reading, you're practicing, you're looking at the one that has like your favorite pictures, you know, the big fire on it. <laughs> <laughs> And you managed to splitter out some ancient um, enchantment. I don't know, I guess that's evocation is what it is, whatever. You split out some ancient evocation text, and a uh, fireball appears out of your mouth, about 60 feet large as it zooms back from you all the way through the ocean, just creating like a giant steam tunnel of boiling, whatever. And like, bro, you see a couple okay. fish kind of boil to the top as you. Uh, Use one of your fireball spells. And I'm like, holy shit, that's a rush as I come out of my little trance. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah, at the yeah, same time. Uh, and now Guys. one of your uses is gone. Guys, guess what? <laughs> I can read! Get <laughs> <laughs> some money! <sighs> that was pretty good. Learning. <laughs> I was like, Damn, that champ packed a punch. <laughs> Thinking it was me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aren't you so good. proud of me, Maru? I did so good. What'd you do? I breathed fire. Oh shit, that was you? Yeah, oh, I can breathe. Oh, okay. Dude, your self esteem hurts a little bit. You thought you were all cool. Yeah, I was, I was like. <laughs> no torches. Hey. Yeah, um, I, I tell them about the. Uh, okay. I tell them about my experience. Like, well, yeah, I did this chant while holding the sword. Yeah. And I don't know what it was, but suddenly I was like in front of this giant yellow eye with a scale and shit. Oh. I was looking at it, looking at me, and then boom, fireball. What the fuck? was me. That's bad. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, How do you I just find good. an eyeball? And I feel good. Which and you're you're weird. still swinging the sword around. Yeah. So I'm just freaking. Like I was feeling tired and now I feel great. Uh, hey. Yo. Is that an evil sword or something? Totally. <laughs> Can y'all get some eyes question? Irritate too a little bit. Can y'all do the chance too? Maybe I won't be exhausted. Um, yeah, I guess. Teach us how to. Yeah, dude, it felt great. Or I know it too, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, well, I give her the sword. And they're like, say this part. And it doesn't come out right. No, you totally <laughs> mispronunciate it. Roll me a d20 to see if you maybe get it right. On accident. One. Oh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I get a lock roll because that's in my thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to get the same. You can add your intelligence if you want. Seven. You, are. <laughs> you butcher it as you're holding it. Uh, uh, and as you hold it, you gain another yeah. 
level of exhaustion is you're like, I don't think this is working. I actually should have made you roll disadvantage. Because now, you you have one level of exhaustion, you have two. As you let go of it, just even more drained than before. Uh, I don't know if I want to try it after looking at her do it. But I'm going to go take a nap. I can now I'm going to right, take a nap. I'm gonna take it right here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take it from her. I'm gonna try it. Uh, absolutely. Go for it. Yeah, we'll make a saving throw. What kind of saving throw? Constitution. Fourteen plus three. Seven. Um. The seventeen. Oh wait. Plus con over here. Okay, so you rolled twenty. Um. Okay, so when f- <sighs> here's the thing, you can't grab the sword. Okay. No, I said you okay. physically can't. You reach okay. for it and it, it and moves. Wait, why could I grab it and she? Can't? It moves. <sighs> I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my sword doesn't on. like you. Yeah. <laughs> I tried like a few times and it's just like, okay. I guess I'm not going to do it. I'm still here with my cross. Right. Just watch it. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you guys are just like passing around a sword. I'm just napping on the ground at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm taking a short nap, short rest. Uh, you know, I, I know I blew, you off, blew off your question, but there's a good reason. I don't even remember what my question was. Um, uh, anyways, it's towards the end of the night. Uh, do you guys uh, just go to bed then, I'm guessing, for yeah. the day? Well, yeah. Or would you like to do more? Uh, I'm going to bed. I go to bed. Right uh, does what I have to do anything to increase my skill level? Like, like more practice? Or how do I know if that practice did anything? Uh, I, I gave you an inspiration point. You you gotta kind of level up to like do like skill modifiers, or you you gotta like seek it out in the game and kind of like make it like a goal, and then I can reward you with like a stat increase. You know. Okay. So I have to make it like. If you make it like a personal mission, you like make your whole quest out of it. Then I see no reason rewarding good effort. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Would that have to would that have to be separate from this mission? You can do it alongside me. I don't know. You guys are multi questing right now. There's kind of a lot of shit going on. I'm <laughs> sad, Loki. That's why I'm like, all right. Oh, wait. Let me fight somebody first, you know. Can <laughs> I do... I haven't lost yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to cast... <clears throat> dispel magic on this sword. And... Uh, the seeds. Uh, and the seeds? Yeah. At least try to. Yeah, you definitely try. Um, You can cast like, both your spells. I like, try to do both of them on them. Separate times. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Roll me for the sword. Sword. That's plus eight. So, 13. Uh, yeah, with a 13. How do I want that to react? Give me a minute to think. Roll for your other one. I'm going to roll for the seeds now, and that's going to be a modded one. Uh, yeah, even with a mod 20, uh, your magic was complete, your dispel magic was just boom, as you think that it that was almost completely ineffective from the seeds. Okay. Uh, however, your dispel magic from the sword was more receptive. Uh, you think maybe you need uh, a slightly different approach, or maybe like a slightly bit more power uh, from it, uh, in order to completely remove something like that okay. from this guy. But, but, I'll give it this, because that's a good move. Uh, you don't think it's going to be infectious anymore. Okay. Ew, where can I see this? Hmm? 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 Oh, no. Kind of. Can I, I mean, it, like, every t- it, when you touch someone, they start to burn internally. Are we cooking inside out right now? No. <laughs> I'm, well, I think his visions are kind of gassy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you. Really bad right now. Can I do uh, like 
cure disease or whatever? Is it? Does it work like that? Yes, you gotta have the right spell though for me. Yes. Uh, sorry, I have it. As a DM to the players, there are two spells. I'm not gonna tell you which ones that will help the situation. I have command, detect magic, and fireball. I feel like command might be one of them, but I don't know how to use it. Loki being on a being a human on this boat's kind of useless. I'm just kind of chilling. <laughs> I'm yeah, dude. Halfling. I'm casting like I'm just gonna cast like a bunch of spell shit on all this. over. Yeah, I mean, just, like, dude, I'm gonna do like because I have a bunch of slots and we're just hanging out. So you yeah. got days. You got. I'm gonna do like detect poison and disease. Mm -hmm. Detect poison and disease. Yeah. So what? Are we on the thing? So I take a leaf and I use that as my component. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for the duration, you can sense the present uh, location of poisons, poisonous creatures, and disease within 30 feet of you. You also identify the kind of poison, creature, or disease in each e each case. The spell can penetrate most barriers, but is blocked by one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Awesome. Um, and you would like to cast securities on what? Detect. Well, no, that's detect. Okay, detect. On um, just like. Us. Uh, us or whatever? To see, because you're feeling weird. Uh, with your feeling, you see that there are no poison and no diseases in you. Okay. Then I'm going to do detect magic, which is basically like that, but magic. With that, uh, coming from these <laughs> two... There's a spider coming down on the web. Ooh, <laughs> Uh, with your detect magic, you feel you feel uh, a very heavy curse, a very deadly curse on these two. Uh, you also sense this within you, but you want to keep that to yourself. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, you guys got curses. Oh, I got curse. Do I have? What, have you, what does that mean? Have you been feeling shitty? Yeah, cursed. <laughs> Alright. Isn't it just being out at sea? I don't usually go out at sea. Yeah, sea. <laughs> <laughs> then, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, alright, tomorrow, I gotta rest up, but I'm gonna do dispel magic on y'all tomorrow. Ooh. Okay. We'll take care of it. Okay. I hug my sword as it goes. Absolutely. Uh, as you guys. Uh, fall asleep. Um, I need you two to make constitution saving throws for me. 17. Oh, wait. I'm proficient in that. I'm not a 20. 12. Dead one. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys oh, got wait. 12 and 13. Uh, you guys... I got, I got 20. Oh yeah, you got a 20? Okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> uh, you guys make it through the night. Wow. <laughs> um, this time you have a dream, Runor. As a dream dwarf, what do you normally dream about? Uh, space. Just space a whole lot? Yeah, I like to think about how the two suns spin around each other. And like I kind of like float around astrally. Sometimes mm -hmm. I go. You're just like the astrally astral projecting. Plane. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Uh, during your dream tonight, it's uh, not actual astral projection, but I like I, think, I like pretend it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, in this dream, let's say that you are out in space. You're surrounded by the dark void in your dream, and normally it's comforting. You like that. That's what you seek in life. Uh, however, it, you feel claustrophobic by the open-endedness of space uh, in this dream. You feel that because there's no end, that there's no real beginning, and you kind of start hyperventilating a little bit in between. Uh, roll me a constitution saving throw. Fifteen. Uh, okay, with a fifteen you take a deep breath, you realize I'm in a dream, everything will be fine. Uh, in your right ear, 
you whisper, or you hear whispers saying, you can't trust her. Um, uh, you kind of shake it off, uh, oh, but you are a little, but you remember it. You hear the voice very crystal clear. It's a very soft, inviting voice. Uh, and you wake up the next day. Uh, you wake up very hot and sweaty, and you don't feel like you should tell anybody about yeah. what you're hearing. All right, next day, Alfonso, hey. uh, as you guys kind of peel up from the gross, kind of wet place you guys are sleeping at, uh, Alfonso says, All right, everybody, we have another glorious day about. Uh, Let's get rid of my diseases today. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, he takes off. And then... I get going on dispelling magic on them. Woo! Absolutely. Um, roll to hit, I guess, is how I want to do this. <laughs> uh, mod 20. Okay, cool. That's for one. Roll me another one. Oh, there's more bugs. 18. Ooh, oh, those are pretty good. Yeah. Where are they Which, coming dude, from? Dude, my wisdom's pretty stacked. <laughs> Because like, now I know that I can use my proficiency, mm-hmm. so it's just like I don't really miss. Yeah, it's so nice. Um, you use dispel magic on this barbarian, and her danger sense is gone. Oh, what? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, however, however, you use dispel magic, and uh, it's ineffective against this type. Oh. Uh, it's okay. a curse. It's a curse. Can oh. I? Oh, it's not my turn. No, wait. You do the same thing, uh, uh, Gene. Nothing. Ineffective. Okay. Are we still the Roll same me room? an Arcana check, because at that point, yeah, Brunor I mean, must like, be like, what the fuck is, is happening? Is it the Baba Yaga? Oh, that's a good one. It's, uh, 21? With a 21? Oh, 21? fucking finally. With a 21, you think, <laughs> what is going on? Uh, we probably need a higher level healing spell to really take care of this. Yeah. Um, with a 21, yeah, you know you need uh, either remove curse as a spell or greater restoration to cast on the car- targets to remove it. What about commanding the curse to leave? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're. Do- I see what you're doing because get some money and just learn how to read. And I kind of <laughs> like it. I have two of those. You can trap. I'm gonna try. If you, if you roll a twenty, I'll let you do it. Uh-huh. Let's go. It was on a twenty and it rolled to an eight. <laughs> That's so sad. I'll let you read your command book, but you don't use it. You, you use it. You, you scream it a couple times. You read it correctly, but oh. it just wasn't working. This maybe it wasn't uh, the phase will that it cast at that oh, moment. Oh, okay. Okay, so you guys know you have about two days left to travel. But there's not a whole lot going on today either because my rolls have been no fun. <laughs> no fun, no fun. Uh, absolutely. Can I go fishing again? Yeah. I love that motion, you guys. Uh, uh, sniffing dead fish in the air. Uh... Our heroes are then propelled another day into their trip. Uh, the next day, please roll me 3d20s. 13. 16. Good. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have two? Yeah. 19. Let's go. Uh, awesome. Uh, with a 19, you guys uh, experience uh, kind of a weird mix of stuff here. As it's very patchy and kind of snowy, uh, Coming up, as you guys see, like little like blitz and flurries of snowflakes start to fall. Uh, <clears throat> as you guys are moving north, do we have warm clothes on the boat? All right, are we prepared for this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, and you guys actually do need to plan for that. Okay. Because I can mess you guys up with little stats over here. I need you two to roll me saving throws before you wake up completely. Eighteen. Uh, wait, uh, 21. <coughs> gotcha. A saving throw? Yes. Just a minute. Whatever it is. Constitution. Eight. 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 Fourteen. Alright, you guys go another day without getting more tired. Yes. Yes. Do I still just have two levels of exhaustion? They have gone away? Yep. Damn. 
All right. So as you guys awaken, uh, Alfonso says, "Tomorrow we'll be pulling into port in the Cuba." Is it cold? Um. No. He kind of looks around and says, "I experienced no sensation of heat." <laughs> okay. Well, I want to use my disguise kit and put on like a little fur coat or something if it's that okay. cold. <laughs> you have a fur coat over your fur coat. <laughs> it's faux fur. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Tw- you're good. Staying warm. I do the same. <laughs> I got a loaded jacket, so. Okay, yeah. Should I go away? I've been wearing bear pelts. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, have any of you tell you, uh, be very careful. There are many, many people, many, many people with very, uh, quick fingers. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Ooh. Jean. Put your valuables in your side up. Inside. No, I see the way her fingers work. They're very little. They can get in there and get out, you know. But there'll be many more like her. Good luck, honey, oh, that <laughs> He put on the I really do. I really do wish you guys a good luck. It's been a very good trip. Uh, you guys are much, much best uh, uh, guests for me. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, apparently I do not stock the food correctly. Yeah. Oh. God damn it, Alfonso. You guys have been munching at this point on just your rations of the queen scent, which are yeah. just kind of fruit that are getting a little soft and gross at this point. Uh, you guys have already gone through all the shit. You guys are really just living off fish and fruit now. Tell them to stock up while we're docked. Yeah. <laughs> I will, I will, I will. Anything, any request, any request. Pickled eggs. Jerky. Things that won't go bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> Press the digitation's little scroll. Alright, alright. Orange juice. Or oranges. I don't want scurvy. Scurvy, I scared. Give me some lizard people. Some what? <laughs> lizard people? Lizard the local people. delicacy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Side what? note. I'm How new... is Alfonso getting these things if he can't leave the boat? Correspondence. Okay. It's more just like DoorDash for the harbor. (laughs) (laughs) So that was like Chester's job. Yeah, cool. Chester was a DoorDasher. He did it. He says, uh, let me see. He looks at Gene specifically and says, "Um, You do know that (laughs) Kuba is home mainly uh, to. The humanoids. Okay. Uh, these humanoids. Do you want to look like me? The one with smooth skin. Okay, yeah. Just I'm just saying, it's not that they, they, yeah. they, they not like you, but you they, they might not sister. like you. You look like a were rat. You look like a <laughs> Thank you. Will they try to eat me? You can look like me. Pull a very grass if I wash out. Okay. <laughs> More like exterminate? Yeah. Look like me, look like me. Okay. All I know is Puba really thinks highly of themselves. They think because they hold the World Politics Council that they make all the rules, you know, and they, the rules are no beast in the city, but I, uh, whatever. Okay. I doubt they enforce it. Who mostly dominates Puba? Uh, human. It's mostly humanoids. Uh, it's a very good, diverse mix of a dwarf and the elves, and we have the actual humans themselves. That's where we do most of our business. Can I disguise myself as a human elf? Is that a thing? Yeah, it'd be a, quite a height difference. Okay, well, be I, mean, I just want to blend in something that would blend in. You look like That's me. like, you even think yeah. twice. Yeah, about you want to blend in to be a halfling? Okay, let's do it. Yes. I don't know why I was so excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> Twinsies. Twinsies. All right, by tomorrow morning, I guarantee that we will be pulling up ready to dock. Uh, prepare your adventuring pants. Huh? I don't wear pants. Do I wear pants? He looks down, you're not wearing pants. She's not wearing pants. <laughs> what the fuck? Wear pants. I've been wearing a well, belt. Wear your <laughs> pants and you guys hide your balls. Um. <laughs> Wait, Gene, do you have balls? I don't have balls. What is he talking about? I don't know. Do you have balls? Yeah. I don't even know what gender I am. She's fuzzy. They're fuzzy. You can't yeah. tell. It's just all fuzz down there. You have no idea what's going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like the only character who doesn't understand razors or hygiene. She's got one hole. It's a big food <laughs> Uh. 
And with that, we'll wrap this session tonight. Good job, guys. All right.